What's up, everybody? Oh, we got some Friday night fire tonight. Ho, 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 ho. A lot of people joining in early. 40 of these bad boys. Strap in. I hope you went to the store already. If not, I suppose we have the technology to just keep it going while you're driving to the store. Don't be watching it, though. Only listening. Don't worry, I'll let you know when something good comes. You can pull over to the side of the road. Check it out. So what's going on? I see I see plenty of people here. Oh my. Hello, hello, hello. Make sure all the settings are right. A lot of people thought that I look like James Bond. What, what if we, hold on, got an idea. I just got an idea. Let me see if I can make this happen. I don't know if this is possible. Okay, what if I put this right? Hold on. Gonna have to drop it down. <laughs> okay, it's not working. Sometimes you just gotta try things out. This is where we're heading tonight, virtually. Coppercraft Distillery in Holland, Michigan. Moscow. Mmm. You hear it? Could have made it from scratch. Thought about it. Got real lazy. Said F it. Get the kind in a can. Save yourself some struggle. Strong. Ten <clears> percent. <throat> She's strong, just the way I like them. Ready? Shout out to Dave and Adams. We got these here nice and quick. How about my new blade? Custom engraved. Damascus, this thing, it's one of those, bring it on. It weighs approximately eight pounds. It's so heavy. I can't wait to see what kind of treasure we get out of here. I mean, this is gonna be spectacular. I'm gonna give all these away too. All of these, I'm gonna give them all away. To slammers. I'm not at, I, like this is the first time I've seen this. And not for me. I decided I was going to give them away before I even looked at them. But I'm not feeling them. I know others are going to love them. <sighs> EDC Clinton. Are these going to be all flipped? Okay. Basically, we're parallel hunting. Let me know if I pass an image variation. I still haven't looked at any of those. As a matter of fact, let's pull them up. Is there a master com com compilation? 2023. Stadium Club 
image variations. Spelled variation wrong, but they still knew. Thank you, Google, for being so artificially intelligent. Now, yes, we do have a complete, you guys want to look at them with me? Come on over. Let me, I got to get this image out of here. <laughs> Let's look at them. That's not a very, okay, the rookie design variation. That's what that is. What is this? What is it? What? Helen Nars. Mm. Oh, I like the I like the Austin Riley. That's cool. Gunner is has not nobody knows what it looks like yet. Ooh, I want the Julio. Look at all these blanks. Oh. Someone said they probably pulled this, and that you're probably right. Dude, that is bad. Pool holes with a bat on fire? That's the one. Ichiro. I mean, the baseball looks like an image variation. Lindor, okay. Buxton is good. I like the regular Adley better than the variation. Look at me, like, tilting my head to the side. Oh, zoomed in Bobby. Why do we all, Why do we have to have so many horizontals? Although, that's, that's a must. We got to get that one too, eh? Michael Harris looking good. Blurry Corbin Carroll. I think I like that. Yeah, the variation better. That's a sweet Otani in the All-Star Game uniform. Beatty, yes. Walker. Okay, both of them are good. Trout, classic. Oh, yeah. Trout is sweet. Soto sweet. All of these ones with, like, lots of people in them. Mm -mm. Nope. The Acuna is not that good. No, not good at all. Where is he? I can't even see him. There he is. The base Acuna is freaking sweet. That one, not so much. I mean, it is cool that there's all the all-stars and stuff in there, but. Vladdy and Daddy, yes. Mookie, yes. Clayton Claus, yes. I don't know who Alan Nars is. You guys will have to help me out with that. I'm sure somebody put it in there, right? Okay. <laughs> Back to ripping. All variations are zoomed in images. Yeah, I like the zoomed in ones. Oswaldo Cabrera. This is the first sepia, and it's a rookie. Call that a W. Grissom. Okay, let's get these piles established. Rookies. Variations. I think I'm going to go ahead and put Bryce Terang in there. Are they overdoing the Gatorade bath photos? You found blasters in the toy section. Yeah, don't don't neglect the toy section. Why why do you think why was that flipped around? Orange? No, sepia. And the stadium club is a little weird looking. 
Repping for rookies. 33-month membership. 350 watching. 83 likes. Hit that like button. Yeah. Rizzo sliding in. JD. It's the first JD I've pulled. Red Pena. Muncie. Got a haircut today and a beard trim. The beard was getting unruly. Nothing like walking out of Great Clips with a $35 bill. Yeah, I go to Great Clips. Walk right in, sit right down. I just like the online check-in thing. I never wait. I've never, you just, you don't have to wait. You just walk right in, sit on down. Trey Turner Chrome. Do we just sleeve up all the chromes? No. Nope. <laughs> Yogi. Classic. That TV in the back. Not my guy. We got a black jazz. I'm going to put the blacks and the reds in a separate pile. A lot of cards to go through. <laughs> Better keep it moving. Red Will Smith. Josh Young. That's my first Josh Young. Okay, blaster box number one. Nothing to talk about yet, but we still have this last pack. I've been getting a lot of good feedback about blasters. The doctor. It just the, the price per pack is a sweet spot. I'm going to actually pull that info up so I have it available to glance over at. I've got it right here. Don't worry. Coming at you real quick. Here we are. 2024 Stadium Club. So price per pack. The odds of pulling a, a red are universally one in three. Okay. The price per pack so one in three packs is only $3.13 in a blaster box. So we're chasing reds. We want to, we want, we're going to get a lot of reds and blacks. Blacks are one in nine. There are one in eight out of hobbies, one in nine out of blasters, one in nine out of compact boxes. But by far, by far, the best way to get a black and a red and all the other parallels come via the blaster. So that's really what I'm chasing. KC, what's up? Show me the fire. I got a case of these coming. Good luck to you, my friend. Good luck. Vargas, Volpe. I'm going to keep it to... I'm not going to separate out all the rookies. Just the best of the best. Dave Winfield. We got another sepia. Austin Riley. Hey, Johnny. Happy Friday. Make sure you guys hit that like. We got to get a bunch of people. I don't, I don't know what the I don't know what the crew's going to look like on a late Friday night. But if we're long if we're live long enough, we should get quite a few people in the house. Nothing else to do in in the middle of winter on a Friday night. 5 autos coming. Yeah, how many autos? The, auto, the base autos, so it's not all base, but one in 94 packs. We're going to have, we can do the math. We can do the math. How many, we're, we have 40 boxes times five, we got 200 divided by, ooh, that's not very good. We're due 2.13 autographs. I'm guessing three because there's other ones, not just the base. Going yard. There's the first going yard. These things are cool. And these are rare. Going yard. These are one in 64. So there are only. It's a 20 card checklist. Is that right? There are only 299 of these that exist. 
Did I do the numbers right? One in 64 hobby. See, this is where it gets interesting because the odds of pulling all the inserts pretty much are going to be about the same, like across all the formats. So for example, going yard is one in 64 in all formats. So it's going to cost way, way less chasing. If you're, if you're chasing these by chance to chase the going yards in a retail format. Sunday consumption, go Lions. Yeah, my daughter's 10th birthday is on Sunday. And it's like my wife scheduled the party for during the game. Drink to that. It's not like during, during it. But it's during it. Oh, Tani, I'm going to set them in a separate pile over there. It's hot. Floyd fan with a $5 super chat. Cool to see your Prince Fielder jersey earlier as a Brewers fan. He's one of my all-time favorite players and one of my main PCs. Really? Well, that's good to hear, Floyd fan. I was super excited when we got Prince Fielder because in my mind, we were missing a lefty bat, a lefty power bat, and he fit in perfectly. Protection for Miggy. Ooh, and then we had Victor. It was just didn't work out. Way too slow. It was double play city. It was like every other at bat, you're getting a double play out of that Miggy Prince. But I, I still like Prince. What's your outlook on Riley Green this year? Hey, Leon, 32 month membership. Uh, positive outlook. I think he's going to be just fine. His Tommy was on his off. It wasn't his, even his throwing arm, so he's gonna be fine. I already heard he's doing. He's already he's gonna be out there opening day. Good to go. Steel City with a 38 month loving stadium stadium club calling four autos. Ring the fire. I love to hear that. Four autos. That would be great. Perez, let's beat the odds on the autos. I deserve it. We deserve it. Fitzy Striker, what series one rookie you chasing? I'm chasing Ellie. Jason Elliott, photographer's proof, Carlton Fisk. And these things are not easy. Why don't I just pull all of the information about this release so that I can cross-reference it? It's all, it's all right here, ready to go. Anything you want to know about the Stadium Club, I got the info. Photographer's proof. Where are you? Where are you? Where? Well, here we are. Maybe. Members only. One in two cases. This is one in two cases. Hmm. I, I want more info. Because I didn't do the math on these really hard to pull ones. All right. That's That's a really tough hit. What do we think about that? Standworthy card number two. We're already getting tough cards. This is going to be a blast. I'm already having fun. <laughs> they are. Well, I guess you're right. They're not all turned around, but they are a little turned around. It's the first bay. Red Bay. Jordan Walker. This knife is so heavy that it's going to result in me. I'm one. I'm not, I don't want this to happen, but I know it will. I'm going to drop this thing on my thumb at some point in my life. I'm already coming to grips with it. And I've already got it under control. My friend gave me this super glue stuff that the doctors use and probably cut men and it's medical grade. And I'll just, I'll just live on air. Just drop some of that in there. It'll be fine. C 
seal that up. No blood on the cards. Brian with a dollar ninety nine. Who wins a foot race? Prince, Miggy, or Jorge? Jeez, that's a horrible. I would never want to watch that. I'd make sure I had a bunch of tomatoes, rotten tomatoes to throw at them. Who would win? What do you guys think? Prince, probably. Like, as big of a dude as he was, he could move a little bit. For his size, he could move a little bit. Here we go. Triumvirate Shohei. These cards are nice. Boxes. I, I'm not going to be able to keep keep track of the boxes, but every box so far has had one of these tough to pull things. I've, is this box three? Because if it's, if it's going to go like that, Volpe, and we're bound to hit some kind of a photo variation. Pull the blue foil, Julio. Number match. Oh. Floyd fan with a $2. Remember, Prince has multiple inside the park home runs. But now with his bacchiotomy, I wonder. He probably, I haven't seen what Prince looks like, but like since he retired, I would imagine he's like bedridden. Like that's how big he is. Because if you're playing professional sports and you're that big, when you stop playing, but that's not always the case. It's like CeCe lost a ton of weight. There's that Bobby. No variations, I don't think. Our blaster's good. Well, we're only a couple in, and yeah. The numbers say yeah. And uh, like, we're, we're pulling stuff already. And we haven't even started. Red parallel. It looks, it looks much better in a red. Even though it's a subtle difference, I like it way better. Virtuosos of Velocity. Like, that card's going to have a little bit of value. Dude, these things, too? They're only 25 bucks a piece? Look at this. We're filling up. The stage is going to be so loaded by the time we're done. We're going to be double stacking, triple stacking. I'm going to be... Mm, man, is that powerful. That's strong. Gino, thank you, my friend. When did this start? Not too long ago. Red Veritech. We might just get the whole red set. I've got a pile of blaster boxes to the ceiling. See, here, here's the thing. I gotta go from this position, then I gotta two finger flip it like this. So right around this point, it's, but then like that, that's the problem. Way too big. It's like a novelty knife almost. It's a, it's a deer skinning knife. I should have got a smaller one. Next time, Julio. Andy watching from Australia in the air conditioning. It's 115 degrees. Whoa. I'll take a little bit of that heat over here. Just a little. I'll take 40 degrees of it. All right, fine. 30. Jimenez.
got an auto, eh? Out of ears. Don't worry, we'll get them. We'll get plenty of them. Another triumvirate. Let's just get the whole set. I think we're going to get the whole set of everything. I want to put that thing together as a puzzle. Maybe put it on the wall back there. What are you chasing most out of here? No. <laughs> Maybe like Gunner and Corbin parallels. Just pee. I just wanted to do it. After I did the numbers, I was like, oh man, blasters are juicy. Nolan Gorman. L easy loaded. Black Snell. Hey, Jeff. One of your first 50 members, Jeff, OG legend. Hope I can provide you with a little bit of, I don't know what at work, a little bit of non-work at work. We got an autograph and it's Ford Proctor. It's an awful lot of hype you're bringing with you, Ford. Ford? That name again is Ford Proctor. A lot of hype. That was Riley. I should save that one for Cubby. Yeah, we're basically just, or at least I'm looking for an extremely rare parallel of one of the big rookies. I'm not going to get that greedy. Just any. A red and or black of multiple big rookies. That's all. Jackie, we're going to get them all. Triumvirates, 30 of them. Ooh. I don't know if we're going to get them all. There's a lot. But I've already got five, sixth of the way there. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Steel City, remember Cubby bought that 101 Riley Green in Chicago? When, when we, like, I was like working that deal out and he ended up getting it. He submitted it to PSA and it gemmed up. So he's got the image variation Riley Green Chrome, Tops Chrome rookie, one of one, Super Fractor, and it gemmed. They're going great, Pack Wars. They're going just like the music is right now. That's how I feel in my brain. Like, it's a party. And all of you are invited. 500 of my closest friends are here so far. I have a feeling there may be a few more that show up.
Chris pulled a 91 judge in base. Corbin Carroll, auto, auto your compact. Really? That is, what a pull. I've not, I've not seen the Corbin auto at all. Hey, look at Julio, Chrome Julio. We'll take that. I will sleep that up. This music sums up exactly how I feel. It also makes me want to go to the Mexican restaurant and just hang out there. Just go in, sit down at the bar. And the bartender comes over and is like, what can I get for you? It's nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just hanging. Well, sir, if you're not going to buy anything, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, fine. I'll get some chips and salsa. Another red. We got... Okay. Oh, that's, yeah. Virtuoso's red and Triumvirate's red. Didn't I? I got a red something else already, right? Red Triumvirate out of my box? My hobby box? We're getting a lot of them. A little bit of guac. Yeah, but they upcharge a lot on the guac. And I'm never, I don't like restaurant guac. I like my own way better. Another auto. We're going to destroy the autograph odds. And it's Chucky Robinson. Hype it up, baby. It's a nice photo, Chucky. Charles Robinson. Original member of the hype force. Founding member. Look at the autos flowing out of here. Another red Bryce. We got two red Bryces. Twice as nice as with the red Bryces. So many boxes left, it feels like we haven't ripped any. It's the onions I don't like, but I also don't like big chunks of tomatoes. So when I make guac at home, it's just, it's just garlic, sour cream, guac, the uh, avocados, and I'll put salsa in there. But as long as like the onions and tomatoes are finely chopped, like real fine, like salsa style, so I can't really even tell, then it's fine. Ryan Creedler made the checklist. More power to you, Ryan. What are you gonna do with the base cards? Try and make a set, maybe? Bryce, we're gonna get the full Bryce rainbow. We're already a ways, a ways there. PSA upcharged me $215 on my debut patch, but it got the PSA 10, auto 10. Then it's worth it. I love the upcharge. The upcharge is the greatest day of my life. When I get a message from PSA saying we're upcharging you, I immediately go and buy myself a cake. Because I know it's time to party. Another going yard. No way. Is this going to be like the heavy lumber situation? Who, who is here for the heavy lumber? If not, go back to the 2022, 2020, sorry, 2023 series two live stream rip that we did. It was. Do 
Did we discover a secret? Autographs. Coming out of here like crazy. Going yards. Everywhere. Triumvirates. Dude, every box has something so far. Every box has had something good, like that's blowing the odds out of the water. Somebody will have a home back there before it's all said and done. I don't need to worry about it yet. Hi, Mark. Leon remembers heavy lumber was awesome. You guys remember? Yeah. I think I sold that, like everything to one person out of there, which is what I maybe will do with this. Sell every card out of here, except for maybe like one or two cards that I keep. Chrome Adley. Ooh, back to back. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Look at that little cheap mustache he's sporting there. Looks like he hasn't shaved in about a month. Like his little cheap mustache. That's Adley not shaving for a month. <laughs> Going yard auto. Yeah, because the checklist is good. So I would, I'll take it. Mackenzie Gore, Black, Rizzo, Correa. Should we have going yards in our own little area over here? And then autos, Chucky, you can go there and you go there. Organization updated. Got to stay organized. There's so many cards. Red stock. Plenty of Acunas. Red Ozzy. Back to back Ozzy's. <laughs> this is, these are great. Really fun, good value. Gotta be a way. Maybe that's the way to do it. Is that Chrome Julio something better than a Chrome? You know what? That is a refractor. Good call. Who called that out? I meant I lost it already. That Chrome Julio. Mark. Thank you, Mark. That is a refractor. Your Matt's going on the stage. Dude, it's even better than I imagined. Every box, something good. Did the first box have something good? Look at this, hard to pull stuff. Okay, so didn't even look it up. Curious. Red parallel triumvirate. triumvirate. I already looked that up the other day. Hold on. What happened to... No. Maybe here. I know I had the odds up. Oh, fine. They hid the odds on the Topps website, too. Stadium Club odds. They're like in the third column halfway down. Okay, triumvirate... Red parallel is one out of every. What? That's a difficult pull. One out of 193 value packs. So one out of 25 value boxes and one out of 17 hobby boxes. So it's like a case hit. And then the red virtuosos. <laughs> Is also a case hit. Okay. Crushing it. Peds is here. Yes. 
Pez, were you there when Cubby bought that uh, 101, remember? We were in the hotel room and we were wheeling and dealing with that guy. The 101 image variation, Riley Green, a gemmed up for Cubby. Just wanted to spread the word. Positive vibes. Good vibes. Because you know how hard that stuff is. Those super fractors. Sean Murphy. This is going... This is so fun. Okay, what what's the magic thing we're going to get out of this box? Every box so far. Let's guess. Another auto. It's about time for something real rare. Ichiro. Triumphant. We're going to get the complete set. We've already got one, two, three, four, five. And they're all different. Every pack almost has something. I don't know why they're all flipped around. B dub D D D but what? D D D B E he he. Red Devers. Can I just call you D dub? Every pack. Can't be every pack. Yeah, virtuosos and a ref. Refractor Aaron Judge. Just so you know, the refractors are one in 64 hobby packs. So one in four hobby boxes. One in 96 of these, one in 12 boxes out of the, we already got two. Julio and Judge. These are great. Senga. Black Bone Nailer. Dude, every pack has a little something. Red. We're gonna have to adjust on the fly. Okay, double stack. Double stack the reds. Oh, this is so good. This box had a red triumvirate and a refractor, chrome refractor. Phrase better than my wildest dreams gets thrown around an awful lot. We're going to need a really big auto to be better than my wildest dreams, but there's a Mike Trout. Let's go. Come on. Mm hmm. Mike Trout, Virtuosos. Black Ohapi. Every pack. We already beat my over-under. I said, like, we're due... We were due 2.1 autos. We got three already. What's this? What is this thing behind here? Dude, this is something real thick. Ooh, it's InstaVision Gunner. They really decked out the InstaVisions this year. And it's the best one. And it's really rare. No way. Dude, InstaVisions? are 
one in 257 hobby packs, one in 193, and there are only... Okay, there's a lot more than I thought. There's 1,500 of them that exist. But that's less than a gold. There are less of these that exist than a regular gold flagship parallel. That is sweet. It's the first I've seen of these. Look at that. It's like a shadow box. No way. That's cool. Sweet. This is fun. I'm glad you guys are here with me. Almost 600 in the house. Let's keep it going. Cheers. <laughs> They're so loaded. There is so much gravy in these boxes. One 10% mule down the hatch. A little, a little bit of leave-ins left in the can. Going for 40 on eBay. Cool. Paid for the box plus. Red Byron. Friday night fire. I was wishing that the White Sox would move Dylan Cease to the Tigers, but interdivision trading. <clears throat> So is that like you get one per box, one of these per blaster? I guess that's one way we could keep up with. So sepias are one in every seven pack. So yeah, one, or they're technically they're not even one in every, wait, how many packs are in here? Eight, right? Eight packs? No, there's seven plus one extra pack. That's so dumb when they do that. Yeah, there's eight packs. So, okay, they are one in every. I guess that's the way we can keep track of how many boxes we ripped then. Leon, you like the InstaVision? Gold minted Corbin? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in for that. This is that same box with the InstaVision. Isn't it? And it, this is an embarrassment of pandas right here. <laughs> and an autograph? Wait a second. This box had an Insta, an Auto, and a Triumvirate. Or am I... This isn't all the same box, is it? You'll have to help me out here. My memory is really poor. I get lost in the in the numbers and the chat and the ripping and the awe. We already have four autographs. How many... <laughs> Go on back there. Four autos already. Oh, we didn't even finish this pack. Big Poppy, Hall of Fame Red. Spencer Steer, Sleeper Fantasy this year. Good night, Grandma with a 99 cent sticker chat. Thank you. Too many pitcher autos though. Eh, beggars can't be choosers. It is what it is.
Like what a gimmick right here. When they do that, seven packs plus one extra pack. Oh, there's Jordan Walker. Why don't you just say eight packs? Oh, there he is. Some conspiracy theorists said that they just pulled him out. They did not, but I think they should have maybe. I do. I was thinking about making a video where I went to target practice and just used cards, but I thought people would get offended if you're like shooting at human pictures of humans. So. I haven't done it yet. It's nothing against the humans. It's just like, it's a perfect size thing to shoot at. Maybe, maybe flip it over or put a piece of little tape on the, put a piece of tape on their face and their name. So people don't know who they are. That's a, that's a cool photo. Even though I'm not a Jack fan. I like that too. This is a collation I haven't seen. Randy. Keith Hernandez. Yeah, I have not seen any of these cards yet. <laughs> They're so... I think I'm just going to stop top-loading them because I'm lazy. Senga. Tough pulls Tim with a 31 mult. Stadium Club blasters are fire. I had a Bobby Insta from 22. Really? I bet you no one sends those away to get graded either. They look like they'd be tough. Like incredibly difficult to gem up. Virtuosos, and in the same pack, Chrome David Wright. He pulled a Wander out at a 25. Oof. Striker, did you set aside two hours for the recap? Asks Brian with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Good point. There's no time limit, no cap on this evening's festivities. So yeah, looking like we're gonna need about two hours to do the recap. Aguero. Good night, Grandma. Good night. It's awfully early to be going to sleep. Can you get numbered cards out of these? Yeah, but man, they're tough. There's not a lot of numbered cards. You can get oranges to 199, blues to 50, rainbow foil boards are to 25. Gold rainbow foils are one of ones. And then there's like photographer's proof. So this this release isn't really all about the numbered cards. It's about diving into the numbers and figuring out what's short printed and being a savvy collector. So like when I broke down all this stuff, just to give you a little, so the 3D, that's what I thought InstaVision was. The 3Ds are to 99. Beam teams, there's 600, so like 600 of them. 
and then image variations 200 designs variations 200 rookie design variations 92 of them and then first day issues only 10. i remember back in the day i still have this card by the way it's a jason kidd first day issue stadium club i still have it has to be rare i think it might be his rookie too i gotta look that up but that was one of the nicer cards that i pulled when i was a kid first day issue jason kidd inside the park sports cards this product is loaded i'm enjoying the rip thank you yeah it is loaded tyler freeman at comerica There's an Otani. I'm just <laughs> Otani gets his own pile. What other player gets his own pile? Used to be it's like Trout and Otani are the only base cards, really. Red Prado. Look at the stack of Reds coming out of here. Brian, with $1.99, Vince McMahon has resigned from all WWE roles. I don't know what happened with that. I didn't read anything about it. I don't watch wrestling, so. I, I don't want to know. Don't put it in the chat. I heard it's just from, like, contextual jokes. It's probably not something. Three going yards. Twenty five hundred of these exist of each player. I should probably look it up just to be involved with the joke. Should I do it live right now? You guys can get my reaction. Oh. So him and Wander are going to have a dual card. I don't want to know the details. I don't I don't want to know the details. But I am curious. Later. It's not a joke. Well, nothing like that is a joke at first. Jordan Walker. But a lot of people have dropped a lot of jokes about Wander. Constant. And that's not a joke either. You know, it's a tension easer to make light. Josh Bell. Black. Josh Gibson red. It's amazing what they can do with the photography. It looks so real. Like the colors. Looks so real. Vivid. Red bag. Well, all right. What did we get out of that box? going yard right so something like kind of big is coming out of all the boxes so far four autographs three going yards two red triumvirates and a red virtuosa instavision refractors it's holding true like one big hit big rarish type of hit out of every one of these There's good night grandma and good night grandpa. Or is it just good night grandpa and I read it wrong earlier? No, I can't find it.
Jeff says this is quite a bit better than NFL Prism. Indeed. Indeed. This is not even on the same level as Panini stuff. I don't understand what it is. Like, I almost feel bad for football and basketball card collectors these days because they're forced. I mean, they've you get what you get, right? You just have what they give you. They have you have what they offer you at the price they offer it for. Trevor Story. So I, I feel bad. As much as people like to complain about everything, but with baseball cards, it's like, dude, go to the dark side for a day or two and then come back. Dale Murphy read, you will appreciate it so much more. That's what I did. I went to the dark side and now I'm back and I'm like, Ooh, I'm glad I don't got to fork out that kind of cash for that crap. Hold on. I, I'm, I don't believe something's wrong. <laughs> going, another going yard? We have four of them? I told you we're going to get the set. This is almost exactly like the heavy lumber. Heavy lumbers are actually harder, though. <laughs> are we going to get the whole set of going yard? Tell me that we are. Going yard. One out of so one out of four hobby boxes. One out of eight blaster boxes. We should only have one so far. Maybe it's a collation thing. But when it's all said and done, if we have more than I mean Yeah. Will there be a 2023 Top Steam Club Chrome release this year? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. But a lot of people are asking. But I, I don't know. Nation rips. What's happening? Willie Stargell. Black parallel. Yeah, they put, they always put regular, they, not always, but last several years, they put Chrome in the regular release. It's just kind of a medium tough pull. I mean, look at, we've got as many. That, that's a red Pete. Looks awesome. We've got more going yards than regular chrome cards. Like, this is normal for the, the chromes that we should be getting, you know, but we got a couple of refractors too. But the going yards, we're, we're getting spoiled. Don Ross ain't bad. Yeah, everybody tells me Don Ross is way better. Red Rodon. Bobby, I'd give Don Russ a shot, but I'm not, I don't like Don Russ. To me, Don Russ gives me vibes of cheap. Like when I think of Don Russ, I go, oh, the cheap stuff. Now optic, that's a different story. I do like optic because that's kind of a chromium and I love the rated rookies. But Don Russ to me is like, Maybe it's the name, the throwback name to when I was a kid collecting and like Don Ross was just the cheapest. It was it was the cheap and like not that collectible, I guess. I mean it was, but But like when it comes to collecting, is anybody going out there going like Um I gotta get the CJ Stroud Don Russ card. No, they're going, I want the prism and I want the optic second. Like, 
Prism, Optic, one and two, unless I'm wrong. And then Don Ross is God knows where down below that. But it's not all about the base cards. I heard you get one autograph per mega box from Don Ross. Sticker auto. It's all sticker stuff. Can you imagine? These are all on-card autos. Panini's throwing you $1,000 boxes and you get sticker autos. Logan Webb sepia. That's a unique angle. All right, every pack. Let's see. Let's see what's out of every pack of these. Nolan Jones red. Sleeper this year. Sleeper pick, Nolan Jones. Fantasy. Eighty four Don Russ Mattingly. Yeah. When you go back that far, but see I I was three years old in nineteen eighty four. I'm talking like like 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. Like that's the Don Russ era. Oh my. <laughs> Another going yard. Is anybody else pulling these this hot? Like, are you guys pulling these going yards like crazy? Or is this a weird case? We got five of them. I want this whole row for going yards. Why don't we? <laughs> the autographs are getting back seated. <laughs> What's up, Nick? I, uh, I don't even see Nick's. I don't even see Nick on there. Ask it again, Nick, please, if you have a good question. It's hard to keep up the chat. We got 630 people in here. Stick around. Let's get more. Can we get to 1,000? If everybody sticks around for like 15 minutes, watch the numbers keep tick ticking up. It's crazy. There you go. Going yard. 88 Don Russ was the worst. Yeah, see, like, <clears throat> Floyd fan, 88 Don Russ is probably what I got for Christmas. I asked for cards for Christmas. I get a box of, like, it was probably worse than that, like, the 1990 Don Russ or something. Whatever's the worst one, that's what I got. And I would, I would be like, oh, like, Christmas Day, oh, my gosh, this feels like a box of cards. <laughs> Don Ross baseball. Thanks. Like it was one of those. I said <laughs> on my list. No way. Another one of these. Hold on. Another Insta. And this time it's Bryce. <laughs> one in 193 packs. One in 25 value boxes. Every box has something, guys. We're, we don't need any more. Sample size is already there. Every box has something that it shouldn't, probably. Whoa. Gunner and Bryce Instas. I wish the SPs would be falling like that, but no, Mello. No SPs yet. As far as I know, I mean, we could have passed them up, but usually the chat's on top of that. Does Matt Chapman have a home? They didn't re-sign him, right? What's going on with Matt Chapman? Yankees news. Matt Chap Chapman linked to the Yanks. Blue Jays, Cubs, Yankees among teams eyeing Chapman. Can Chapman find a glove in a turfless place? Matt Chapman. 
Tigers camp chat. <laughs> Tigers camp topics. Why third baseman Matt Chapman isn't walking through the door? Is that what it is? Oh, you gotta subscribe. No. I gotta subscribe. Nice try, debt news. No one's subscribing to your stinky, stinky site. Jordan Walker, I think we got two of these. Jeff says, my first box was 1979 Tops Hockey. Pulled three Gretzky rookies. Whoa! Grip it and rip it. Do you think Fanatics is front-loading products on early state? No. Guys, any th conspiracy theories you, th you hear about, like, so-and-so is getting a loaded box, Fanatics is front-loading, any of that nonsense. Listen, this company, that company, wants to produce a product and get it out their door and have, n like, just get it out, get it sold, next product. Get it out, get it sold, next product. You think they want any shenanigans? No. Do you think they care who it goes to? No. They don't give a crap about it. They want it out the door and money in the pocket. Next. Out the door, money in the pocket. Next. There, none of the conspiracy theories are legit. I like conspiracy theories. I'm on YouTube. Like, I mean, I, I love it. I love hearing about them and reading them. They're not true. It's nonsense. All it is is people that are jealous and they see like, oh my God, this guy got another hit. Yeah, he opens up $100,000 worth of wax. Of course he's going to get some hits. Front loaded? No. They have third-party auditors, which means they're not connected to the company at all. They go through and make sure that there are no shenanigans. So while, while they are fun to explore, it is not legit. They don't, they don't care who gets the car. What like they just want it gone, clear out the warehouse, sell all the stuff. We still got inventory, put it on sale, get it out the door. Like, so you have to step outside yourself. Like for us, it matters who gets the hit. Like, oh my gosh, I saw so and so get another hit, or I got a good card, you got a good card, my friend pulled a good card. Like that matters to us because we collect. When you are the manufacturer, or like let's say you're the casino. And like some guy keeps coming in and getting lucky or whatever. Like, yeah, well, you look into that guy maybe because, but as the company, you're not feeding one guy like all the blackjacks, right? You actually look into that guy. Like, is this guy cheating? That Fanatics is the casino. They're not looking to like make anything shady at all. They want everything to go smooth and out the door. Best auto. I couldn't tell you one name of one auto of any guy I got so far. If that tells you anything. I don't remember one guy. Like, I can see that guy. I don't know who it is. Like, that guy's got an auto. No clue who it is. Complete set. Here we come. Ever since I was a kid, retail has been good to me. I've told this story before, but some of you may not have heard it. When I, do you guys remember when uh, SP first came out? When SP first came out for basketball cards, I went to Walmart with my cousin. And we had like, you know, like 15 bucks to our name or something. And we just bought, they had 
retail SP packs, like right in the store. I don't know if they're hanger packs or what the heck they were, but we bought, we each bought a handful of packs and every pack we opened had a super rare insert in it that was supposed to be like maybe one per hobby box or something like that. It's going like, it was going like this and we're like, oh, every pack we're pulling like a, like a heavy lumber or going yard or something even, it was even better than that. And we're just like, oh my, we bought all that we could get. We went right to the card shop, sold them all to the card shop guy or traded them in, whatever. And we're just like jumping up and down. Like, I can't believe how crazy that was. And then in the next Beckett, I think it was in Beckett or some publication, it came out and they were like, there was an error and they were like, they put too many of a particular insert into the retail stuff. This reminds me exactly of that. It's been going on since the dawn of inserts. Sometimes you hit a gold mine like this where it's like, oh man. Luis Robert, and maybe they're all loaded like this, and those cards don't end up being worth anything. Possible. Black Lubob. That's cool. Nice little color match with the jersey. Diego says, I do not know anything about baseball cards. Well, you're at the right place if you want to learn. This is the place to, to be. I started the channel to like help people out, share with any information I got with everybody. Because when I started into cards again, got back into it after years, there was nothing. There was like, like it was so overwhelming. What could you do? Go to the blowout forums, maybe. Try to look for YouTube channels that were helpful. Didn't exist. So I was like, I'm going to look. So I started doing the pack odds, figuring out what format's best. There was none of that. No one broke down the pack odds to figure it all out. So that's why I started doing it. Share the info with the people. Production numbers? Ha! Nobody did production numbers. I was just curious. That's why I started doing it. It's like, if I'm going to make a spreadsheet and do all the work, I might as well share the info with everybody. You thought this was a scratch ticket channel? <laughs> kind of. What's the difference? Ease of return should hit a gold minted I think so whoa Steel City drop in 20 gifted memberships wow Steel City great time to do it we got a lot of people in the chat you just got a green highlight Steel City hooked you up they're just randomly distributed so you, you have to allow those in your settings. In your YouTube settings, you got to allow like gifted memberships. Just to let you know. That's going to be a parallel. The first rookie parallel we've gotten so far. Going yard for days. But there, remember, it's a 300-card checklist, and there's only a handful of, like, you know, really good rookies, I guess. Okay, so there's like a dozen, but what do we do? What do we do with this? Encroachment is happening. This is awfully early on to be moving the piles forward. But, hey, you got to do it. This is going incredibly well. Do we put... A do we put that on the stage? Let's vote on it in the chat. Yay or nay? Red Oswaldo Cabrera on the stage. For now, I'm going to just set him like right here. And then you guys get to decide. Because I don't know. I don't know. 
we got to be a little picky. Oh yeah, by the way, so the Strike Force code says $10 off your four. It's it's 10% off now. Regardless of how much you spend. You get 10% off. You go to cardshells.com and use code Strike Force. I don't know if it's a one-time use thing though. I think it's I think you might be able to keep using it, but another going yard. We got back-to-back Yordans. He is going yard, too. Oh, my goodness. Doubles of... I want a parallel. I want a parallel. I want an auto. Of You can get parallels of those, right? Yeah. Yeah, reds, black, orange, gold rainbow. Yep. Third Shohei. This is a vibe hype song. Come on. Pick it up. Cheers. If you got something to rip, now is the time. Anybody simultaneously ripping? Chrome Vado. Yay, nay. Yay, yay, nay, yay, nay, yay, nay. <laughs> yay, nay, yay, nay. What? No solidarity? There's plenty of nays. Red Buster. Jordan Walker. You know what I've noticed? My two hobby boxes had the Gunner and Corbin. Haven't gotten one yet. Although, that collation, I do recognize Derek Hall, Red. Outman? All right. Thought it might have been. I, just, I think I just maybe haven't seen that one yet. Remember how they used to have those little, uh, like, look, look at how weird these are. Have you guys ever seen these before? I guess it's so the fish don't get caught on them and die. of hits already. ASMR. I don't like these songs. Only a million boxes left. Four autos already. Two Insta Vision. Two refractors. Seven going yards. Two red parallel triumvirates. One photographer's proof. Not even halfway done. Wait a minute. We got two master photos in this one. That's a good luck sign. Look, Mike Trout and Altuve. Good luck sign. Two autos in here, maybe? Hey, Zach. Welcome. Thanks for becoming a hitter. The Gun Vault. Just talking about shooting. And how people frown upon. Or, you know what? I don't know if they do frown upon it, but I'm assuming they do. I was kind of frowning upon it when I was just thinking about it. Shooting a baseball card? Because I don't, you know. I wouldn't want someone to shoot my baseball card. Clearly, Striker, not a craft beer guy. It's a Moscow. This is a craft beer. 
it even maybe not a beer, but it even says craft right on the can. Come on, Cubby. And it's in Holland, Michigan. You got a cup. I will. I, you got me backpedaling. <laughs> I'm a mule guy. Sometimes. Whoa, Zach dropping 10 gifted. Hops into the club. Spreads the love. Love to see it. Appreciate it, man. About time you showed up, Cubby. I was telling everybody about your PSA 10 gem earlier. That looks like an orange, doesn't it? Alas. Just a rag. Only our... Ninth, I don't know, ninth triumvirate. This stuff is real, real fun. Isn't Holland, Michigan, where all the Christmas stuff is? Yeah, there's all kinds of Christmas places in Michigan. Lions to the Super Bowl. Ben Johnson to the commit. Wait a minute. Easy on that one. Although, yeah, he's gone. He gone. This is what happens. Some, some Michigan team performs well, and then some other team comes along, sc scoops up our, our guys, and then, and then we got to start over. That's why we have to enjoy it. While we, while we can, I guess. Chris Sale Black. But I do think that they need to not like allow the coaches to interview midseason. And you're like, hey, striker, you never gave it two craps about that before, like this week. Yes. You Darvish Red. Look at the stack of reds. I think we need to get like get all these out of here. Start new piles. There's too many cards in the good card piles. Gino gifting one membership. Thank you. You plan to go, Cubby? Should we be talking about this? I potentially have a a driver for us. I mean, he already agreed. My friend Brent, he's like, ow. Oh. He, he already said he'd drive us. I think you know him. Never done the sub thing before on YouTube. Well, you did good, Zach. You did real good. Don't want to throw this away. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know that it's a given. There's a salty taste still from last year. A real salty taste in my mouth still. Salty yet sweet, like cars mix nuts. Spencer Strider. You're getting a big Airbnb. We got some some room, some extra room for a couple stragglers. I don't want to plan anything out this year. I just want to tag along. Can I just do that? <laughs> First Manoa.
<laughs> Pads was there for the salt. <laughs> Uh, we made the best of it though, didn't we? <laughs> Steel City was there a little bit for a little bit of the salt. You didn't, you didn't get the full taste though. You left a little before the saltiness, the most of it. Look at this. This is flipped around. Does that mean it's going to be a parallel or something? No, just another Adley. Double Adley's, double Jordan's, going yards like they're free. Cheap and easy. It's almost like these are stars of MLB parallels. Steel City did get the best pizza. I still remember that pizza. That was so good. Delicious. Should rent a mansion. Basically, <laughs> we basically had a mansion in Chicago. <laughs> it was an absurd room. No reason for a room that big. Splurge. <laughs> Jeff was there. Jeff. That night was so awesome, getting to meet all you guys. I loved it. That was definitely one of the highlights, if not the highlight. The whole crew coming back, hanging out. That was great. There's just so much going on. It's like, man, I would love a whole day where we could all just... I don't know. Like how everybody went to, what was it? Dave and Buster's got rented out. I'd love to do that. Spend a few hours. Three reds. There's too much going on. So the national has to be, it's got to just be like the whole time. You got to go the whole time. If you're trying to go for just like one or two days, I guess if you're local or something, I, I don't know, but there wasn't a, nearly enough time to do what we wanted to do. We're running. Run, it, was, it felt like we were just constantly on the move, going from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. And like, <sighs> we got to go. Even on the last day, man, like everybody had gone. It was, it was Sunday and like my crew left. I was so busy the last day. It was. I gotta like stay that whole Sunday and then leave Monday. I've never crammed more things into luggage than I did on that Sunday, last day of the national. My luggage was so heavy. It was, it must have been right below the threshold of a, an overcharge. I had cases of cards. Cases of cards, bunch of swag, top loaders, and card protectors, like food. Tried to get, like, there was food. I brought a bunch of food and didn't eat any of it. Didn't want to leave it, had to leave it. Oh yeah, equipment to stream and make videos, lighting, cords, laptops, hard drives, extra batteries. That's not bad. Senga, Chrome. Not bad. The content creation aspect of the national is not fun. The, that's the least fun part. I wish I, and I could, I could just go and not worry about any of that. Maybe that's the play. 
But how do you pass up an opportunity like that? It's pure. It's endless content. Cubby says needed double the time for sure. Of course, waiting in line for silver packs was a drain. Yeah. Did I play baseball? If yes, who for? The Lapeer Church of God Church League and Mayfield Little League and Central Michigan University Intramural Softball. <laughs> Rodon. You think I played in the bigs? Thank you. Extremely athletically gifted. Although, even doing that, did you hear that crack? Just lifting my arms up, it was like. <laughs> Hotels will be harder this year. Yeah. Plus, it's Cleveland. <laughs> Jeff, that's the funny part. That was my plan. My plan was to ship all the stuff, all the, all the extra stuff that we bought. Dude, I had it all worked out, but then I realized as I walked down to the lobby, they had a ship station in the hotel room. So I walked down to the lobby, and not in the hotel room, in the hotel, and it was Sunday. Oh, no. Time to improvise. I had two whole cases I was shipping back. I had to improvise. Real Muto, you don't get a sleeve, sorry. Blacksmith breaks with a full 99. My 2022 Bowman's Best UFO autograph. Julio Rodriguez to 100. Just gemmed at the upgrade shop. Congratulations, what a banger. That's a great card. Appreciate the dono. Would you go six blaster or hobby? Luca had 73 points. That's good. He's my he's on my fantasy team. Sometimes like I think NBA b basketball players are in terms of fantasy the easiest to predict explosion games. Because Luca just had that. Remember the fan was heckling him, and they like he. Did they kick the fan out? Did he leave on his own accord? Whatever. And then. Seventy three, seventy points in the NBA anymore. Doesn't like. Embiid gets a seventy. Luca gets a seventy. I'm sure, almost any. Not anybody, but I could name probably a dozen players that could put up a 70 bomb. It's such a selfish, like nobody plays defense. Anybody who really wants to get the ball and just score can. Whereas in baseball, if you're trying to predict a fantasy performance, you're going, okay, who's the opposing pitcher? Let's hope it's some lefty meatballer who's, you know, got like a 87 mile per hour fastball. Not another one. Not another one. <laughs> An autograph and going yard in the same in the same pack. Thanks for being here, guys. If you haven't hit that like button yet, now's the time. Complete set of going yards. In the process, Ezekiel Duran autograph. I have at least, I don't know, probably half a dozen Ezekiel Duran autos in my collection. Let's make it seven. I should hide all of these autos and see if anybody can name one of them when it's all said and done. I think that's what I'm going to do. There's so many boxes left. So many. You want to know how many boxes we've opened? Seven. 
17 allegedly. It seems like less than that. Mountain Lake cards and the rest of it's covered up, but I'm going to assume it's games. Pulled a Harris. Red foil auto to 50 from a hobby. This stuff is loaded. Appreciate that donation. And yeah. Yeah, it is. Man. In terms of fun factor, and if you, if we could come up with some kind of formula. Cubby, talking to you. If we could come up with some kind of formula. Proprietary. Where we incorporate like dollar, like how much you spend and how many, like what you get in a pack. How whether it's a parallel, an insert, an autograph, whatever. I mean, we could make the formula fit whatever we want. That's the thing. This one would probably win, Stadium Club. Every pack has something. Here, I'll show you. There we go. It's a cheap insert, but it's something. Wait a minute. Back to back Pete Alonzo fantasy? Chief fantasy professionals? Something <laughs> smells foul. <sighs> Damascus. With striker brakes engraved on it. You want to skin a deer? You want to stop an intruder? You want to cut open a thin piece of plastic? This is your guy, Tay Oscar. I just thought I might as well get something that serves multiple purposes. Rizzo, triumvirate. Every pack has something. Every box has something. Every pack has... You know, you're not going to get something awesome in every pack, but every box has something awesome, kind of. Jimenez. Red. Just watch an 11 box opening. Had zero autos, one going yard. A uh, blasters ripping Dixie. Is that what you're talking about? Thank you, Krusty, for the dollar ninety nine. The donations they really add up, man. I appreciate it. It was a tough week not getting my hobby boxes that I ordered, but you got to adapt and overcome. Life's going to throw, and I know, I know. How dare you use that slogan when talking about a simple thing like opening baseball cards. But it's not just opening baseball cards. It's life. Life's going to throw wrenches at you and going to knock you down over and over and over and over again. There's always a window that's opened up, though. They shut the door. Life shuts the door in your face. But there's a window open on the side. Are you going to climb through the window? Or are you going to cry and complain? That's what separates the men from the boys. Trevor Story gets it. Red parallel. Wait a second. What did we get in this box already? We got a triumvirate and a red virtuosos of velocity parallel. So double goodies. Every box. And like if it's a media, like triumvirates are coming out of here like crazy. So now I'm starting to feel like, and going yards are. So I'm starting to feel like, oh, okay, those are kind of easy. 
And then you get a red to go with it. It's <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Jose. Jose fresh. Fresh out of the locker room. So much human growth hormone and testosterone flowing. I love it. It's the first Jose I've seen. Otherwise, I wouldn't get so excited, but <laughs> look at him. He's got a mullet, too. You can barely see the mullet coming out the back, but it's short on top, and then there's a party going on back there. <laughs> Oscar with a dollar ninety nine thoughts on series one design. Also, hobby or jumbo. My thoughts on series one are I like it. And it's going to look great in a chrome. In order for me to not like a design, to be like, I don't like it. It's got to be bad. Because I'm all about the new stuff. I don't want to be like Mr. Picky. I hate this. I like this is my hobby. I like this stuff. So unless you like deliberately are ruining it or making it unaffordable or something like that, like I'm all in pretty much. I'm going to be critical at times, not like overly critical, but just here's my two cents. Here's maybe how it could be better. Maybe I don't like this insert, but all in all, man, I'm a sucker for the new, new stuff. 2024 series one. Let's go. We got a good checklist. Design looks cool. This is our hobby. We're just doing this to have fun. We like baseball. We like collecting. We like the community. So yeah. 2021 was an awful design. 2021 product in, in general was pretty bad. Although at the time, you know, we, we were like, you never know. There's some good rookies that could come out of here. 2021 had a wide variety of potential. There was a lot of potential. Fourth Shohei, by the way. They're over here off screen. But, you know, a lot of people are, are very picky about their design. Some don't like the full bleed kind of thing like this. Some... They want borders. They want full borders. If you have a partial border, they don't like it. Like 2019 had kind of a partial border, you know, like a half almost. Some people didn't like that. Um, but everybody's attached to a design from nostalgia, kind of. From when you were a kid, there was a design you liked, and then that connects to the future designs that come out. And if it's not like that, people maybe don't like it. But yeah, I like the design. I like the uh, neon sign kind of look, and I think it's gonna look awesome in chrome. Severino. Ooh, we got a numbered card finally. It's a chrome orange Nolan Gorman rookie. Yeah, I like that. Get off the soft sleep, the soft cloth. I don't know. It looks like particles on here. Yep, that's a particle. I don't know if I don't know if that is. Permanent, or if a little elbow grease will get that off of there. But that's cool. The orange, weird. The oranges are ninety nine to ninety nine, aren't? Isn't it? Beam team, that's not beam team. Chrome orange variation to ninety nine. I don't know about you guys, but it should be green to ninety nine. There's nothing to 25. So they went orange to 99, purple to 75, pearl white to 30. It's a weird number. This should be to 25, and they should have greens to 99 because the green actually looks good on Stadium Club Chrome. But it is what it is. I'm sure everything got messed up with their reprint situation. All right. Let's, man, we are 
god of premium stage space. Let's put him back there. Our first numbered card. We're about halfway through the boxes. Baseball cards and tin cans. I have some uh, baseball tins. I think I have both complete sets of those the tins that they made. Maybe I'll put them as eye candy. See, I instinctively sleeve that up, but I'm not going to. I sleeved up the Conseco just because. Yeah, I wish the number the colors were the same. Look at we got another one. <laughs> Complete set. <laughs> another Jordan Walker. So hold on, let me get this straight. Chrome Orange Parallel Nolan Gorman <clears throat> and Going Yard Mike Trout. Same box. Every pack. Let's go. Musgrove Black. It feels a little thick. <laughs> no. No, it isn't. Not in the same box. No way. <laughs> Instavision Mike Trout. Same box. Get out of here. Music's frozen. Hold on. Let me give her a refresh. In the meantime, soak that in. Rock City. That song's called Rock City. And where... Where is it? I have no idea. Here's our InstaVision collection so far. Oop. How about that? That's better. Gunner, Bryce, Trout. We're covering up the refractors. That's how many hits we're getting. Boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom. Julio and Judge. And the chromes, by the way. The chrome checklist is only 90 cards. So they cut all they cut out all the nonsense. And they just gave you who you'll really want. The 90 best. And that's the way they should have done it. This can't have anything in it. We might as well throw this pack right in the trash. We already got three ridiculous cards. Red Schwarber. Every freaking pack. PC rip and stand. Is it harder to grade the 2924 design? I don't know what you mean. Twenty twenty four design. There are no twenty twenty four cards yet. Do you th are you saying? Do you think it will be harder? I don't know. But yeah, anything that has black borders or even full bleed, 
Any color borders, anything like that. Anything other than white is going to be harder. How much have you opened? We're got, we got to be like halfway done. And this is embarrassingly loaded. I got this from Dave and Adams. Just bought it on release day randomly. After I did the numbers, since I didn't get my stuff, I was like, I better get something to rip. And I'm glad I did. Black Altuve. You can kind of just see from the stacks, the rarity. So if if you can find blacks, let's say, for example, you're you're chasing a gunner and you want a little, maybe a, a mini rainbow from gunner. You're looking at the reds and you're looking at the blacks. I don't know what they're going for on eBay or whatever, but they should be like three times as expensive to get a black. They're not going to be, though. That's what I'm saying. No Corbins? No. Hey, Brandon. No Corbins, no Gunners, other than the InstaVision Gunner and a ridiculous wealth of awesome hits. Dontrell. I finally took that poster down, Cubby. You know what I'm talking about. I kept it though, but I had, to, I had to make room for a Dave Winfield autograph Jersey and a Pete Rose autograph Jersey. I'm sure you'll understand another trout. Any autos? Yeah, Brandon, we've gotten five autos already. I think, dude, you got to watch the whole thing. This is crazy. Every box has at least one, if not multiple, awesome things. Every pack has something good, whether it be a parallel or an insert or an autograph. Look at this. Soto. Red Soto. I like that one. I might have to get some therapy watching Soto play for the Yankees this year. Quick recap. Going yard. Odds. One in 64 hobby packs. One in 64 retail packs. One in 64 compact packs. Best hit? I don't know, man. Maybe like one of these two. Probably one of those two. I, this is more, this this rip is more like a scatter shot, like a buck shot of good stuff. Sanga Chrome. We got two Sanga Chromes. It's a weird collation. Like, I don't know that this case was like a, a sealed case. I think they may have just, I mean, maybe it was, 
but the the boxes were kind of like facing different directions in there so it seems like they just put 40 random boxes in it and sealed it up and sent it my way could be a sealed case i don't know but i didn't order it as a case they didn't have the option on dave and adams to order as, as a case so i just ordered 40 boxes and they sent that yeah this is one one case dan oops and there's a bait that's not the sp okay no i don't man that's the first baity i think i've gotten that's why i was wondering i'll take that black baity yeah i th i believe that's stand worthy but if you guys have a problem with it you can let me know but i think that's stand worthy i think baity's good he just um he just needs like a little more seasoning thoughts rob my man look at rob 44 months rob is an og the king of youtube breaks keeps on ripping dude rob's been here since almost as long as i can remember i appreciate you rob awesome to see you here dude The hits keep coming. Dude, I could rip this stuff. There's Gunner. We did get a Gunner finally, other than the Insta Vision. You know who we're missing? We're missing Ron. Ron Fig. Ron was here early, early, like first stream I ever did. Early PC ripping. King Arthur. OG. Rob, OG. And dropping 10 gifted. Thank you, my friend. That's huge. I apologize if I miss anybody's chat, man. We got 700 people in here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Gold Schmidt. And Volpe. I think that's the first Volpe, maybe. I mean, geez, there's a these are just secondary rookies that are pretty good. We got a lot of Sangas. Look at that. I didn't realize how many Sangas we got. Yeah, we got a Volpe. Okay. Walkers and Volpe's and Gormans. So there's like, it's almost like a collation thing happening here. Same rookies, a lot of going yards. It's exciting. Red Buxton. What are we gonna get out of this box? Every box. Let's guess. Let's guess on every box. I want to see it in the chat. And then somebody's going to get it right. Because it's going to be something cool. Like, if you say going yard, you've got like a 55% chance of being right, probably. If you say like a red triumvirate, you've probably got like a 10% chance. If you say an auto, you've got like a 25% chance or 20% chance. If you say a chrome, you've got about a 20% chance. So what's this, what's this box going to be? No base carols yet. No base gunners, but I already got two of each of those out of my hobby boxes. So I don't even care about getting any more of those. I want the parallel. You could even say a red. So here are the two, the two bigs. Red gunner, red Corbin. Black gunner, black Corbin. Those are some easy, easy ones. 92 parallels. Haven't gotten any yet. There we go. Get those guesses coming in. Oh, I can wait. We got all night. It's only 10 o'clock here. What time is it where you're at? Could this be the issue? No. Uh, well, I don't know. Baseball Card Brothers. I heard that the issue was they printed 
the front on both the front and the back. I don't know if that's true. That's just what I heard. So what I think probably followed up was we're, we're cut the production. Maybe, I don't know if it was in half or what, but cut the production. Keep the same amount of inserts. Maybe they got all the inserts right. And then just put them in the packs. Maybe these are the original odds on the Tops website because we're getting way more. Here we go. We got some guesses coming. I like to see it. Because there's a there's gonna be a winner. And if you get real specific like Connor, Chrome Gunner, or Great Baseball, Auto Corbin. And if you get it right, you get like 100 points. Ten o'clock. Okay, yeah, we got some East Coasters. Coasters. Cedar Point, America's roller coast. Gold minted. It's time for one, isn't it? Nine in Kansas. Yep, blasters, Dan. Soto Auto Red. Whoa, we're getting real specific. Pujols going yard. It's a good guess. Beam Team Griffey have not gotten a beam team yet. We should we should get a couple of beam teams though. Hidden gem. What is a hidden gem? I heard about these. I don't see them on the checklist. I don't see hidden gems. Is that like a... We go to inserts, checklist, beam team, CF Pro, Chrome, Going Yard, InstaVision, Master Photo, 3D, Triumvirate, Virtuosos. Yeah, there's no hidden gems on the checklist. Cubby dropping 10 gifted. Thank you, Cubby. Appreciate that, man. What am I sipping on? Copper Craft Distillery out of Holland, Michigan. Moscow Mule in a can. Only 10% by volume. Here we go. Let's see who's going to win. Red Edgar. First Edgar I've seen, actually. Period. Another Josh Young. Barrios. Do you have to pay for membership? Yeah, the memberships are $1.99. I made them real cheap. Most people charge 5 bucks for a YouTube membership, but I wanted more people to be able to be involved. CFO. Okay, we haven't gotten to the good card yet, but every box. I don't know what it's going to be. Let's Is the third pack in the thicky? Or is it the fourth? The third and the fourth both feel juicy. How many boxes so far? We got to be like 20 deep, about halfway through probably. Harris. Okay. Larry Walker Hall of Famer. Way panned out. I don't like the panned out cards. I like zoomed in ones. But go get them, Larry. Okay, Volpe. I'm glad you're having fun, Derek. Here it is. Here's our special card. Who guessed an Acuna Triumvirate? Did anybody say Triumvirate? There's also a chance that we get something additional besides the Triumvirate. Who said Triumvirate? If anybody... See, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to be like... Corbin Carroll autograph parallel. Although that is fun because when you hit that, you get a hundred points. But when you just, if you hit the regular, like let's say you just said triumvirate, I'm going to call that 10 points. Nah. Yeah. 10 points. Hit it exact hundred. Did you call it Derek? 10. No, 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 no. Unless you said Acuna. If you said Acuna, hundred points. I'm going to scroll back, Derek, and confirm. 
because that is a good call. I'm scrolling. There's too many chats and my patience is wearing thin. Checking it out. Don't talk to robots in here. What's up, man? I'm just going to have to take your word for it. Another thing you need to understand. Everybody. Oh, yes. Hold on. We'll come back to this. The everybody needs to understand thing. Yes. Red Riley. It deserves a, a little pump up of the volume. That's cool. I'm glad I got that. Riley laying out. Look at the focus. The focus. You know what? Bedazzled stand. What a box. 700 more to go. Monkey Blanket called it. How about this box? Every box we get to guess, and there's points to be given out. Distributed. That was the word I was looking for. You, you'll have to bear with me. We're not, we're not going on all cylinders tonight. bow looking good here's the thing about the bow flow which i appreciate more than most you don't let it get past the shoulders if it goes past the shoulders let's keep it clean bow All right, this box, what are we talking? Orange Gunner, Benjamin going for the 100 points. Volpe Orange. Go Lions says Monkey Blanket, indeed. Autograph in this one. I like your style, Mark, because that's, that's possible. Corbin Sepia, Judge Going Yard. You guys got some good guesses. Julio Beam Team. Vlad Auto, straight up. Uncle Fester is just saying going yard. And that's a solid guess. That's a 10 point guess. Okay, we're going. Verlander. Kind of, I, I knew I would be sick of the CFOs and all this BS. Look at this. I knew I'd be sick of it. I'm not going to knock it because it is something. These inserts. We got to, this music has got to go. This is like corporate. Like when you walk into the corporate lounge where you're waiting to get called in to get interviewed by the boss for a job. That's the music they're playing. They're trying to keep the vibes up and not offend anybody. Let's get these off the stage and these. You know what? I'm sick of all these cards right here, except for the Shohei pile. For some reason, I want to keep the Shohei pile fresh, clean. This is a very generic song too, and I'm not impressed. Next. Oops, I kind of like that from the get-go. I'm going to go back. Let's let's ride with this for a minute. We'll see what comes of it.
is this live now? Ask a baseball fan. No, this was recorded weeks ago. Glaber. Sepia. If you guessed it right, you're allowed to put it in the chat. But if you guessed it wrong, don't fool. Don't fool around. We, oh, we want legitimacy in the chat. There's nothing to be gained if you didn't guess it right and you say you guessed it right. There's nothing to be gained other than disrespect. Cal Ripken Jr., red parallel. And a red car. We'll call that a color match. Wait. That deserves to be in the rookie pile. We're starting from scratch halfway through with the piles. Wong's in the house. Wong, we're guessing like what good, cool card is going to come out of every box. Every box has had something sweet. Like real sweet. Those going yards are one, like one in 64 packs and we're pulling them like way too often. Same with the red, like every pack has something that is hard to pull. Look it. Another Rizzo going yard. We got three of them. This is this is what the guess was. But also, sometimes there's more. We've gotten boxes that have a going yard and an auto and a chrome. We got we had one box with it was an orange chrome, right? These going yards are coming out so often that I stopped top loading them. time catching you live. That is a sweet photo though. <laughs> Rizzo kind of sucks. He just needs to stay healthy. If Rizzo stays healthy, batting lefty for the Yankees, like in the three or four, I don't know where he's going to be this year. He's going to put up ridiculous numbers. Just got to stay healthy. Tony Gwynn Black. With his swing, he can just like pop one out easily in that field. And he did. He was on my fantasy team in 2022 when he had a really good first half. He was looking like the pick of the draft. Lowest numbered card tonight. There's only one. You don't get a, a lot of numbered cards out of here. Only get only one, and it's numbered to 99. It's kind of more about the hard to pull inserts and parallels. And on card autos, which we've gotten five already. Snellington. Red. So who guessed Rizzo going yard? Because that might be the one. Red Lubob. We got Black Lubob and Red Lubob. So that was the good card out of that box. Rizzo going yard. Next up, get your guesses in. Ten points for a for a not very accurate guess. Like if you just say going yard, you get ten points. But if you say Anthony Rizzo going yard, you get a hundred points. For example, if you say Instavision, you get 10 points. If you say Gunnar Henderson Instavision, 100 points. Our options are, uh, man, I think it's even better than just an Insta. Is the lowest we can get an Insta? I think that's the lowest good card. Will Clark orange to 199. It's a hundred point guess, Doogie. It's okay, monkey blanket. But you will be banned if you spam. At the very least, you go into a timeout. And if you continue to spam, that's a banning. And we like bannings around here. 
Gunnar Henderson, Instavision. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Sports cards and Wong guessed the exact same thing back to back. Not planned. Couch, couch. Just wanted to say hopefully everyone hits great. Indeed. What's your favorite card so far? Hmm. It's either, well, I mean, the two best cards. Three, there's three possibilities. That is too common to be my favorite card, but it is a good one. Gunner. Insta. Orange. Nolan Gorman. All candidates. He doesn't need to be blocked. Just a timeout for spamming. It's not a bannable violation. Only a block. Only a uh, timeout violation. Ted Williams read. Unless the spamming is obscene. I know what it is already. Can you see? Word of advice. If you're thinking about what to guess, you could always get 10 easy points by just saying, go in yard. 10 free points. Do you want to waste your guess for 10 points or do you want to go for all the marbles and get 100 points and get it right? <sighs> just... It's like the tortoise and the hare. 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. It adds up. But that's probably not going to be all. We may get another good thing. Doesn't count. I told you I was keeping him on the stage for a reason. First DeGrom I've seen, I think. Black DeGrom. All right, we get it. You guys like to party. Tory Hunter. Thrill the rips going for the 100. I don't blame you. Tony Gwynn, red. I think we got it. I think we already got a red Tony Gwynn. Jordan Walker's. No base Gunner or Corbin's yet. How many more boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. 17 more boxes. Cheers. This is a fun game. What sweet card is going to be in this box? <clears throat> we just get, I mean, going yards are in every box pretty much. So that's too easy. I'm going to go with a red Instavision. Or is it time for an autograph? I'm going to go red in division. I can't change my vote. You really can't change it. Julie. Loving the rip. Thank you. 600 in the chat. Hat tip. Nobody that I've seen has commented on my awesome new Orioles hat, by the way.
So I got, where did I get these hats from? What was the name of the place? Oh, what was it? I wanted to share it. But anyway, whoever it was, it was a hundred. If you spend a hundred dollars, you get free shipping. Derek Hall. And uh, dude. Let's go Jordan Walker having a breakout season. But anyway, it was $100, so I bought three hats. Got me got me there. And yet they still shipped it in three separate boxes. I thought that was silly. That's not the way you save money. That's a foolish way to ship. If I were the CEO of the company, and you know you want to tighten up, find all the leaks, fill the holes. That's one. Like guys, we just cost ourselves, I don't know, like at least 10 bucks. <laughs> Wait, did I go? Oh, I didn't go base going yard. It's Ken Griffey Jr. going hard on every box. Who got 10 free points? We haven't gotten a Griffey yet. This is the first Griffey going yard, and it is spectacular. <laughs> B Mac. I wonder how many sets I'm going to be able to put together of these. Check out my eBay store. You should be able to find one. How many going yards in the set? I think 20. I got the numbers right here. 20. It's the first Dansby I've seen. Willie Black. <clears throat> and when I say that, first Dansby, it's the first one I've noticed. Big Hurt, Red Parallel. Yogi Red. Been a minute since we got a triumvirate. Like every pack's got a going yard, and it's taken away our triumvirates. Although Jordan Walker and Senga are coming out of like every other box. Got a lot of them. And Mike dropping 10 gifted. The gifteds are flying around tonight. Stick around in the chat. You might get a gifted sub. I mean, they're coming. Just make sure you can get them. Check your YouTube settings that you allow gifted memberships i don't know why you wouldn't why would you not allow a gifted membership they should just set that to like yes and then you can change it to no why would you not want a free membership i like watching the channel but i don't want a membership for free okay michael harris Corbin auto equals shotgun mule. If I shotgun a mule, dude, these things are 10%, man. That'd be like shotgunning. I don't know. It's not happening. Sipping on it is enough. And I've I've got a tolerance. The German and Irish. Michael Harris and Outman parallel. The whole point of this was to get parallel rookies and we've gotten Riley Outman. That's the one disappointment I have with this. 
Not a lot of parallel rookies. Although, don't sleep on the Gorman Chrome and Beatty. So three decent parallel rookies. And you know what? Remember those refractors were flowing earlier? Not in a while. It's been all about going yard. Oh, oh. triumvirate finally. Yes. I thought it was another going yard. Garrett Cole triumvirate. There you go, Julie. I'm working my way towards that complete set. We're working there. And if I got to pick up some singles, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put this complete set together. I've decided. But should I glue them to a thing so that I can... Hmm. That's the question. Glue them. How do you put... We've gotten two red Tory Hunters, if I'm not mistaken. Going, I know, me too. I want to see a going yard auto. Enough of these nonsense base going yards, am I right? Let's let's get the auto happening. I'm being a little loose with the rookie pile. Terang Grissom. It's okay. I can be loose. It's got to happen, Marco. We're, we're flipped around. What's that mean? Dr. Sticks. I'm working on the rainbow. Got the red. Got the black. Wong, wasn't it you that... I mean, you commented earlier, but... Wasn't it you that didn't like Rizzo? Is it just because he's a Yankee? I'm curious. Like Wong is a bit of a <clears throat> Let me let me word this nicely. Wong likes who he likes and he doesn't like everybody else. Is that accurate? And I, I don't have a problem with it. How about Adrian Beltre? First bail Hall of Fame. Love it. Deserves it. Love Beltre. Beltre was my guy, man. He was he was my fantasy third baseman every year almost. Love him. One of the best. Okay. How about this one? I don't want to just go going yard and getting 10 free points. That's easy. You know what we're due? Maybe for another Instavision or an autograph. Going yards, easy. Triumvirates, easy. Chrome. We haven't gotten a Chrome in a while. Can you just call it Chrome and get 10 points? I think it's, I think if you just call like a Chrome, that's five points. Although we haven't gotten many. No, 10. You get 10. I'm calling Chrome. That's so cheap. Refractor. You still only get 10, but. And if you call getting two of these in one box, which we've already gotten. That's a hundred points. An easy hundred. How many more boxes? <sighs> like 15. Cubs base auto. That's a hundred pointer. Although it's not super specific, but it is. It's specific enough. It's kind of cheating, though. I think that's the first Josh Bell I've noticed. We got a weird, not weird, but just a little bit of a different collation here, I think. Joe Ryan. Griffey going yard. 
Acuna Insta Vision would be nice. Go Piston says B Mac. Here's okay. Triumvirate Manny. It seems like it's been a minute since we got a triumvirate, but we got that coal not too long ago. Another Grissom. I don't know. All right, good guard pile. Rookie. Rookie good part, uh, Kyle. Yeah, fuck, huh? Any Volpe Master photos? Yeah. I think we got one. Rookie Parallel. We're going to put him behind Riley. The question is, is the so... Wait a minute. We already got... Oh, that's Machado. Is the Machado triumvirate going to be the best card out of the box? I don't know. Oh, Kyle, you like that? Like that blade? I got it for you, Kyle. Waiting to see if Wong responded about Rizzo. Oh, the Yankees beat the Rangers in 96, and that's why. I understand, man. Like, I've got a thing about the Cardinals. Seems like they always beat the Tigers when it matters. Josh Gibson Black. It's not that I don't like the Cardinals. I'm just like, uh. Like, I mean, I like gold. Sh I like all the Cardinals. But I, I'll always remember that they are our nemesis. Parallel. Yep. Red. We got two nice hits in here. I'm top loading it. It's only our second parallel of these inserts or maybe is there a third yeah third but they're both virtuosos of velocity remember clubbing kyle Go to Luna. Hey Kyle, wanna go to Luna? I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure nothing bad will happen and everybody will get out of there without going to jail. Make we'll all get home just fine. <laughs> Neil will be, he'll be just fine. You won't need to take care of him at all. Being a member give you all the opportunities you've ever wanted. I don't know, it gives you a green highlight and you get member only chats, you get a free member chat every month. Etc. Etc. Special emojis that only members have. An avatar that changes over time that only members have. All kinds of stuff actually. It's probably the best dollar ninety nine you'll ever spend. Cal Ripken, Jr., Triumvirate. Complete set. Here we go.
<laughs> Cubby says Ron met his wife at Luna. So not all bad. $2 drinks were nice too. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They got a pool table too. DL Hall. I sleeved it up instinctively. Taking that out, putting the sleeve back where it came from. Fresh got his car stolen there. I remember that. Oh. <laughs> Forgot until you said that, but now I remember. Chrome Peraza Refractor. Who called Refractor? I was I was like a couple boxes too late. Or too early, rather. Dude, we've gotten look at look at the refractors. Peraza rookie refractor. Julio. And Aaron Judge. That 90 card slimmed down checklist. I like it. We'll probably get some more too. <laughs> Julie says we have a place here like that called the Chicken Shack. <laughs> I want to go to the Chicken Shack. <laughs> Joe Mauer Black. What's that place around here? Some kind of shack. Cubby, I know you. <clears throat> Cubby and Kyle. The something shack. What's that place on 21? That Todd used to go to all the time. After school. <laughs> Another. Is that a parallel? No, same. That one looks... No, that, that's red. I knew it looked different. We finally got a parallel. Freddie Freeman red. And by golly, going yard reds. Going yard red. One out of 257 hobbies. One out of 193 blaster packs. We finally got a going yard red. And it's Freddie Freeman. Chicken Shack? No. What's that place? Uh, whatever. <laughs> he didn't remember he left it at McDonald's and filed a police report and we walked past it three days later. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. Maybe it's not something Shaq. Another Red Riley? We'll take it. No, what's that place on 21? Maybe it's not Shaq, something Shaq. I never, I, I went there like one time. Hold on, quick Google search. Hitchin post. Not the shack, it's the hitchin post. That's what I was thinking. The hitchin post. Sounds about right, Gubby. How's the QC been? Good, Chris. I haven't, like, you know, really inspected it. There's Adley, master photo. But I'm not seeing any issues. No glaring issues. 
Yeah, I don't know, Chris. I haven't heard anything about it. <laughs> Kyle's dad has his own parking spot at the Hitchin Post. I think that was the last time I went was with your dad, Kyle. For sure it was. Josh Young. Your dad and your brother. <clears throat> Stadium Club Chrome isn't on the schedule. Yeah. I, I know nothing about it. Cy Unlucky says, do you have a tip for new card collectors? Any boxes or packs to go after? I try to give tips all the time, man. There's a nice Adley with the gold O. Gold chain O. So I try to break down a lot of the releases that have both a retail and a hobby format to figure out what the best bang for your buck is. I would suggest don't just go to Walmart and buy whatever packs they have. That's that's the first thing. Because a, a lot of people that are getting into the hobby will do that. They'll just be like, I just want to open a box. And they'll go to Walmart or something and be like, there's a box. And they just grab it. They have no idea anything. Don't do that. Because odds are, if you just go grab a box, it's going to be just the junk that's left on the shelf from, you know, over, like, it, it could be like a year old or something that they can't move. So hang out on the live streams and the chats and stuff. And we talk about it all the time, like what the best thing is to rip. Retail is usually pretty good, but you got to get the right stuff. Like this is good because it's got a good checklist. First, ask yourself, who do I want to collect? And if it's probably going to be a rookie. So what rookies are good and where can I get them? Because there's different like series one, series two and update have different rookies in those checklists. Or you could just go tops Chrome. Tops Chrome is almost always good but it comes out mid-year, which you probably don't want to wait around for. Triumvirate, Clayton Claws, we're getting close. We're getting all different triumvirates. So you got to kind of focus on, like, what do you want to rip or and why? Like, what guys are you looking for? What are you trying to do? What's the purpose of your rip? You're just looking to have fun? You want to collect a particular rookie? Are you trying to make money? Like, whatever it is, if you're trying to make money, well, ripping's not the best route, probably. It's more of a, this is more of a hobby, you know? We just collect guys who we like. If there's a team that you like, like, let's say the Tigers, you know, maybe you're looking for Riley Green rookies. 2023 stuff has Riley Green rookies. So we chase that. If you're a Cardinals fan, maybe you're going after some Nolan Gorman stuff or Jordan Walker. So you got to know what release has the guys you're looking for. And you can look that up. There's Beckett.com, Cardboard Connection. But really, it's experience. Don't jump the gun and spend a lot of money right out the, right out the you know, just don't go and just like blow a bunch of money like I just want to open something. That's what I did. I wanted to open a case so bad that I wasn't willing to wait. I just bought the next thing that came out. And sometimes that's not the play. However, this year, probably every release that comes out is going to be decent, depending on the price. Like, they've they've increased the price quite a bit on some stuff, but it just goes with inflation. Like, baseball card boxes haven't even kept up with inflation. For example, I used to go to, look at this. We got another refractor. It's Hunter Brown, but it is a refractor. So I used to go to Taco Bell and spend five bucks and get full. Yesterday I went and spent 10 bucks and I was like, eh, I mean, I get like, it's probably the same amount of fullness maybe, but for twice as much, well, these, these blaster boxes are 25 bucks. So they've only gone up five bucks. Blasters have been 20 bucks for like for a long time. So I, I, people that are complaining about prices going up, it's like you got to like compare it to everything else in this world, man. Food, food's gone up. Gas has gone up. Everything's gone up. Housing's gone up. Cards haven't gone up that much. At least baseball cards. They will. Believe me. They'll keep going up. 
but they're slowly lifting them. Did you get a Baja Blast? No, I... When they had the $5 box, I'd get a Baja Blast. But there's no box right now that's worth it. Lars Nupar, Black Parallel. So I just got two of the double stack tacos and two of the double beef. Ten bucks. Is that just a regular? No, that's another red. Another red, and it's Bryce. We're doing good. Did anybody guess red Bryce going yard? <laughs> that's, I mean, if you guess red Bryce going yard, maybe you get a 10% bonus for that. 110 points. We're getting so many going yards that the reds are taking precedent and moving up on the stage. Six hundred people holding strong. Hold the line. Stay. We got a lot more packs and a lot more mules. I brought fresh ice with me. In a yeti. So I didn't have to leave. No, the red, they're all gray in the middle. Like the, the text is gray on the base cards. It says going yard. But when it's a red parallel, the text is in red. And also you can tell because the stadium club text is in red. I wish it was foil. It would be so sick if it was foil. ASMR. I don't know if that even comes through. Probably not. Four ten percenters ought to do the trick. Cheers, Peds. Portable pee bucket. No, I haven't had to go yet. Although, no, nope, I got nothing. I got nothing. Vlad Red. It's only four. Can hold it. Next up. What kind of magical hit are we going to get out of this? Probably time for another auto. I'm going to go auto. And what kind of Hype Force member is next? Let's go with, I'm going to get specific. Who do I always pull? Hold on. Let me look at the auto checklist. I'm going to get really specific so that I can get 100 points. Autographs. I'm going to go with. Hmm, there's actually. Dude, I want a Pete Alonzo auto out of here. I'm going Pete, Pete Alonzo auto. Because I want one. I don't have any PCP autos. No, I don't. Derek Jeter. That's cool. Oh, we got the guesses coming in. I'm going to give you just a moment. Just a moment. Simultaneous cheers for everybody getting involved. Also, yeah, you know, got to have a copper cup. You know what I thought about doing? Filling a cup full of snow and then just putting snow in the mule. But I thought better about it. 
You got a few peats. I bet you do, Peds. I got to start catching up. Mookie. Trey Amari. <laughs> Kobe says, I'm not sure if Paul DeYoung is in the checklist, but he's my auto pick. Let's check it out. Paul DeYoung. Oh, hold on. Oh, I might have went. Dude, if I... I don't know if Pete has base autos. Pete doesn't have a base auto. I went way out on a limb. He does have base autos. Yes. Paul DeYoung. Not on the checklist. Not on the base checklist, but... I'll give you another chat. You can scratch that and bring in another one. You get another guess because he's not on the base checklist. If you want to go Winton Bernard for the Blue Jays, he's on here. Winton Bernard is on here. Also, we got Will Benson, Will Brennan, Yuzniel Diaz, Yanir Diaz. There's lots of guys to pick from. Taryn Varva, Tommy Henry, Steel Walker, original Hype Force member, by the way. Um, we've got Sean Bouchard for the Rockies. These are all strong possibilities. Benintendi. Volpe. If we're continuing with the Hype Force theme... Let's go with Peyton Burdick, Ryan Nelson, Sean Bouchard. I think I already said him. <laughs> Matt Walner, legend. Um, Toglia, always coming out. Master Boney, Michael Grove, Louis Varland, Ivan Soto, Lenyan Sosa. There's plenty to choose from, guys. Logan Ohapi. He's actually one of the better ones. Um, let's keep it going with Kyle Stowers, Corey Lee, Cody Clemens, uh, a staple, Jared Young, Josh Winkowski. There's all kinds of guys. Jackson Trello, Justin Steele, Josh Smith. I'd take a Josh Smith at this point. Jermaine Palacios. Hype Force. Doc in a red. Lenny and Sosa for sure. That's a great guess. 90% chance. <laughs> Go in the yard. Dude, okay. I don't know how. I'm not even top loading them. Anybody. <laughs> If anybody's in the market for a going yard card, this is the guy you contact. What's up, MM? Missed the whole break. It's all right, Chris. Stick around. You're bound to see magic. Magic in the form of Ivan Soto. Or Lenyon Sosa. Ivan Soto, Lenyon Sosa. One of the two. Zach Wheeler, black. I get Lenyon Sosa and Levan Soto mixed up with the autos because there's so many. Black Gauss or Red Gaussman. Yoshida. Do I put Yoshida in the good card pile? He's looking so svelte there. I think I do. His own pile. I knew I gave him his own pile for a reason. Could you imagine if I had started out the show and I was like, I'm going to give Gunnar Henderson rookies his own pile. There would be no pile. Instead, I instinctively chose base Otanis. Here you go. Good rookie. 
Not getting a lot of good rookie parallels, but when we do, we put them right up in this area. How many boxes left? Everybody's asking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A lot of boxes. Derek thinks Will Benson's going to go off for sure. I sure hope so. Raise your hand if you've gotten a, a Will Benson auto this year. Raise two hands if you got more than one. Guesses? How many autos were pulled so far? Do you want to see the glorious autograph collection we've gotten so far? We'll take a moment. There's, there's actually quite a few. Hold on, let me get the refractors out of the way. We got five autos already, and we are not even three quarters of the way through. Let me delight your eyeballs and your senses with these wonderful SIGs. We'll start out with Ethan Small, pitcher. For the Brewers. He's a lefty. Let's hope he's long for the majors. And then Ford Proctor. Yet another pitcher, I think. No. Shortstop slash catcher. Ford Proctor. Chucky Robinson. Catcher. Nice photo. Big bubble. I like the Reds. Let's stay positive. Garrett Hill allegedly pitches for the Tigers. Big old leg kick. And Zeke Hill Duran. I've got at least half a dozen Zeke Hill Duran autos in my 2023 PC auto collection. There's another. So five autos out of here, all on card. All lovely. All going in a special part of my collection. I put all the autographs, like like all of those kind of autographs, in a row, in one row in a, um, it's like a 3,200 count box. I put them in this row and I never look at them again. But no, I'll look at them again when I'm like when I'm looking to go back and be like, I wonder, I'll go back through and just be like, oh, brutal, shing, brutal, shing, 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 shing. You never find one that you like. Going back through the autos, I never have. I take that back. I found a Corbin Carroll auto that I passed up way back in the day. It was 2019, and I got a, a box of Panini... What was it? Stars and Stripes. Got a Corbin Carroll. Sent it to the upgrade shop. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I passed that one up back in the day. So it is possible. You could pass one up. But when they get to the bigs and they're a pitcher and they're like 26. Unless you're Jacob deGrom. There's Jake. Oh, gold? Gold minted? It doesn't even say it, but that's what it is. Gold minted stand. Who guessed gold minted? Min minted. Gold minted. Nobody guessed it. I'm going back in the chat and looking. There were earlier guesses, 
think that's what this is. I mean, geez, how often do you pull one of these to even know? Or is it gold ring? I mean, this is a chrome. Gold chrome of some sort. Chrome gold minted, yeah. One in 257, one in 193 packs. Jackpot. Giancarlo Stanton. Quick. What Stanton's war? Can you guess it by the time I look it up? 44 war? Dude's going to make the haul. He's got to be a little better than he was last year, though. Okay. He is very borderline. He won the MVP. Let's talk about Stanton just for a moment, and then we'll get back to ripping. Five-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger, All-Star MVP, Home Run Derby Champ MVP. 44 career war. He's only 33 years old. He's got a couple more years left in him where he can possibly produce more war and get to that magic 50 number. Once you get to 50, is he better than Todd Helton? No, not even close. Liam, happy birthday. If he hits 500 home runs, he'll definitely make it. Yeah, what's he at? How many, how, what are the odds? He is at 402. He's not going to hit 100 more home runs, I don't think. But he's only 30, he's 34 now. I said 33, he just turned... 34, 79 days ago. Red babe. I like it. I'm PC in it. This is such a sweet card. Photo. Everything. Look at everything about it. He is such a boss. And he knows it. And he's driving the coolest car that there was for that time period. And I want to imagine that that's bulletproof glass, although I know it's not. Putting him on stage. Like, what's the point of having bulletproof glass when you're driving a convertible? It's probably not even a convertible. What is that car even? There's no converting. It's just open. Five hundred didn't get Sheffield in. <laughs> we got gold minted, red Babe Ruth, Soto going yard. <laughs> this is the seventeenth Volpe. Let's hope Volpe gets some. Numbers this year. Chrome. Corbin. So two chromes in this box. And a going yard. This is a crazy box. I've been kind of soft sleeving these. I think I'm going to keep... I don't know. I've, I've been soft sleeving some of them. Even though Corbin Burns is a pitcher and... What is war? Wins above replacement. It means how much better than you how much better you are than like a four A player. Like the best triple A player, basically. How many wins you provide? And it's just a you know, just a formula that they came up with. But it does work pretty well to combine all the statistics to see how good you are. Yeah, wrong Corbin. I know. No base Corbins. No base Gunners yet. Matt Olson red.
Red Xander, every pack. Every single pack. Cheers. Can you guess Babe's career war off the top of your head? I'd say like 149. Let's look it up. I bet you it's more like 180. <laughs> it is. It's 182. Ridiculous. Cheers, Josh. Bo Jackson auto card times. That'd be that'd be one of my favorite pulls ever if I got a Bo auto. Bo Jackson auto. I don't own any Bo Jackson autos. I'd like to. I'd like to have one. Was that who you guessed, Cubby? I keep getting, I like, they're so common. I just, Lenyon Sosa. It's one of those guys. Favorite product of 2023? Maybe museum collection. Museum is, is just fun. It's just good. It's all around good. A lot of hits. Great checklist. <laughs> Zero Corbins. Zero Gunners. Cosmic was good, yeah. But in terms of like, what do I... Bang for the buck. What do I like ripping? What do I like doing breaks with that's enjoyable? Tier one was so sneaky good. Inception was sneaky good. I really enjoyed Inception. Um, museum collection for the quality of the hits and like it's game use stuff. And then Gilded in terms of like a high end rip was really fun and really good. And another going yard. It's Pete. We're, we've got to be like three quarters of the way there, at least on the going yards, guys. Outrageous. Look at them all. I, they're not even room on the stands. I'm double, triple, quadruple stacking them. <laughs> I did like Cosmic, but they need to juice it up. You got to juice that up a little bit somehow. And I, you know, like I said, I, I don't want to give away all the trip. Oh, oh, is that a good sign? That's a good sign. We're getting a bow auto. Chrome Bryce. Would you break more stadium PC? No, dude, I got a whole case of this. This is it for my PC stadium ripping. Adley, I already did two hobbies and a whole case of blasters, man. That's that's all I can handle. It's going to take so long to process these cards and do something with them. Another Jordan Walker. Lots and lots of Jordan Walkers. Blasters are good so far, Anthony. Like, really good. Ridiculously good. Joe Morgan. Red. There we 
we go. We got a Corbin finally. It's a parallel. Yeah. Dude, I turned the music up and the vibes before I hit this. So that's the question. Did the vibes bring the card or did the card bring the vibes? Whoa. We're already at that point of the night where we're starting to talk philosophy and manifestations. Wow. We might as well start talking about religion and politics. No, don't just don't. I just shouldn't have even. That was not an open door. Feeling the vibes now. Got a peril. That's the whole reason for this. That card right there. Dude, this is the sturdiest, like most solid. And don't get it mistaken, it came with a sheath. Of course it did. Ichiro. We're three hours deep. What set has had the best and worst QC? Probably the worst QC is 2022 Tops Chrome update. Best QC would be like 22 update. Isn't that weird? Best QC, 22 update. Worst QC, 22 Chrome update. Kyle dropping more gifted memberships. Appreciate you, Kyle. Making everybody happy. Get this garbage music out of here. Bo. How fun would it be to play pool with Stan Musial? Something tells me he would take all of my money. He'd lose the first game on purpose. Be like, oh, man, my hands are so arthritic. And be like, hey. <laughs> Ringer. Hustle me. Back in the day. He would have hustled me. Oh, 2023. Hmm. 2023 QC has been pretty good. I don't really know of anything that's got bad QC. I think they're, they're working on getting better. They want to be better. Like when Fanatics took over, you know, there, there's certain things they want to be good. And I think they want QC to be really good. The best that it can be. It's guys, it's so hard. You don't even understand. Like to get these things printed and cut and to be in immaculate condition, it's not easy. But I think that's a goal of theirs, a priority. JJ Bladé Red. But I can't think of anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Cubby. Like, back in last, you know, during the the nonsense thing, there was some bad QC. And it was like Bowman Draft, like Cubby says. Bowman Draft, there was some first edition stuff that was pretty bad. I think it was like 2020, 2021, Bowman Draft, first edition. Both of those were bad QC. And that was paper cardstock, and it was just like miscut. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think a lot of uh, 2023 Bowman, uh, the Chrome on card autos had some not great QC.
Josh Smith read. Did you guys struggle with that at all? QC on the, the Bowman Chrome autographs out of 2023 Bowman. Another bow. Guys, it's a sign we're getting a bow autograph. No, I, Rob, I want to do that. I can probably make it happen. I've got some connections. Albie's black. You know what? Don't think I've even seen one Albie's card yet. Not that I've noticed, at least. Or a Reese. No, but I want to. I, I definitely want to see the whole process, how they're made, how they're randomized, the machines, the whole thing. I think that'd be fascinating. Make a video about it. Me and Mike Rubin go to the factory. Have a nice dinner and a conversation. On him, obviously. Julio Rodriguez. What would I order if Michael Rubin took me out to dinner? I'd order a medium rare ribeye and shrimp scampi combo you're like why not some filet and caviar because that's disgusting not filet but i don't know i've never had caviar but i wouldn't i wouldn't just get it because some rich guy is paying Unless he was getting it and he's like, trust me, you got to try this. I have been to a few rich guy dinners before. And I usually feel very, very uncomfortable. But the food is good. Something tells me Covey's been to a few rich guy dinners before. Cubby, what do you order when it's a rich guy dinner on rich guy or company? Oh, gross. You know what? Let's see how sharp this blade is. I'm, I just pick a random card. I just wanted to see how sharp this blade is. Sharp enough. You went to Applebee's before, Wong? Uh, that doesn't qualify as rich guy dinner. Buster, we're working on the Buster Rainbow. I'm surprised out of all these boxes, we haven't gotten one good sepia. Uh, like, you know, when I say good, I mean like rookie, good rookie. That's the best one, maybe. Outman. No spam in pet sports cards. Take a moment to reevaluate the rules. You probably didn't know the rules, but the rules are you don't need to spam. Michael Massey, Big Poppy. Not a big fan of this song. I 
I mean, it's been a couple boxes, so bang! Another Pete. We'll give you another Pete Alonzo going yard. Who guessed that? Did you guess we're going to get it dupes? Same pack. Alex Call Auto. Great photo, by the way, Alex. With an inscription. Autograph number six. Who took the over? Might just be like a kid or something. Wong, that's why it's like either a kid or a bot or a drunkard. That's what I mean, but in the distant past. Cubby. You know people. I've had a couple rich guy dinners in the distant past. One time, I got flown to San Francisco. Had a rich guy dinner right on the water. Real fancy one. It was one of those rich guy dinners that you learn about in college. So when you're in business school, they're like, when you go to a fancy dinner, there's like all these different kinds of forks and blah, 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 blah. And then the, you know, there's like the salad and then the pre-appetizer and then the appetizer and then the co main course and then the dessert. And like, there's like multiple courses. I felt so uncomfortable. I was like a deer in headlights, like, which one of these forks do I use? Thank God the lady across from me made, made eye contact with me and she's just like, it's okay, honey. Any fork will do. You call that a knife. That ain't a knife. This is a knife. Crocodile Dundee would be impressed. He would be. Paul Hogan. Both Paul Hogan and his character, Crocodile Dundee, would be impressed. We got another good parallel. Casey coming in with that four ninety nine. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Still here. Yeah. Jordan Walker, the parallels are starting to come out. I put a little bait out for him. I planted a field of clover so that the parallels would come to munch on their favorite greens. And they did. And I have a 12 gauge waiting. This song again, horrible song, by the way. It, you want to know what this song's called? No one, it's called U, like the letter U, space, B, capital B, space, like. You be like. Awful. You're working on your PSA order? I got to do that too, Casey. I might do that tomorrow. Wong. That is correct. Who would have guessed that Wong would have been the guy to tell you the proper way to eat a fancy meal? Makes logical sense. Look at this, guys. We got something special. Real special. It's a Riley Green Insta Vision. Oh, yes. This is my favorite hit of the break. People were asking. And the vibes get hyped up just a bit because of it. A 
Let's check out the Instavisions. Gunner. Bryce. Trout. And Riley. What a checklist. These cards are awesome. They're way better than they were in the past. Some of like some of the Instavisions I didn't really care for. But I like these. Dude, they're pretty like flawless. I'm seeing no issues. Unless that little thing right there is a corner blemish. It might just be like a white design, but What's the deal with the Instavisions? Let's look back into it. Instavision. One more time. The Instavisions are very hard to pull. Ridiculous. We should not have gotten this many Instavisions. They're one out of 17 hobby boxes. So this is a case hit. And we've gotten four. They're one out of 193 value packs, one out of 25 blaster boxes. So you should get one to two per case. We're destroying the odds. It's the good vibes from the chat. That's what I'm going to give it to. No beam teams, though. Riley going to be a fancy steal this year. Here's the thing about Riley Green. He's not going to be a steal because he doesn't do any of the, the big important things extraordinarily well. And to be a fancy steal, you've got to hit home runs and steal bases. Riley doesn't do either of those things on like the next level. He's like a 2020 guy who will probably hit close to 300. So he'll be a good average guy who bats for average. He can get you like... 80, 80 runs, 20, like, okay, let's talk about ceiling. 100 runs, 20 home run, uh, 100 runs, 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases, 80 RBIs. Like, that's his ceiling. And what are the odds he hits his ceiling, you know? So he, leading off, he's going to guy, he's going to be a guy who hits for average and maybe he, he scores you some runs and, He'll just be like solid across the board. I don't know that he's going to be a steal. Unless you get him really late. I don't know. What do you think, Cubby? What's what's Riley's ceiling? Best season of his career. What's he do? It can't be this year because the team the team around him isn't good enough to to where he'll score 100 runs, I don't think. His best year, I'm going to say, like, we would have to have two more really solid offensive pieces batting behind him. Like, Riley leads off, or maybe, like, in his best season, maybe he bats third and hits 300. Then he could possibly get, if he hits 300 batting third, then maybe he can get 100 RBIs. And if there's a guy batting behind him who's an absolute RBI machine, like, let's say Torkelson turns into a... 300 average, uh, 40 home run guy. So then Riley can score 100 runs, hit 100 RBIs, 25 home runs, 25 stolen bases. I don't know. Gunner. What do we think? It's up for debate. Josh going out on a limb, 1991 variation, Adley auto to 25 in this box. Josh, if you get that right, I'm I'm going to offer out 200 points. It's the first time I've ever offered so many points, but dude, that would be, you see who's on the back. Another Mike Trout. We got a lot of these. <laughs> I have to do it every time. (laughs) 
It's a 300 card checklist. We've gotten zero Corbin Carroll base, zero Gunnar Henderson base. Schwarber, not sure if I've even seen him. Night, Jeff. No, I'm saying if Torque like could hit 300 batting cleanup. We're talking about like ceiling type scenarios. Mookie triumvirate. It's been a minute since we got a triumvirate, but we have plenty. Yeah, if Torkelson becomes Pete Alonso, but he'd have to have a higher like batting average. Pete doesn't even hit for that high batting average. Can you still buy into this break? This is just a personal break, Christopher or uh, uh, Reese. I'm just opening these for my personal collection, trying to have a good time. Tommy Henry autograph. Can you believe it? We've gotten six autos or seven, and they're all Hype Force members. Like, founding. If you're curious about the autos at this point, Tommy Henry, Alex Call, Garrett Hill, Chucky Robinson, Ford Proctor, Ethan Small, and Ezekiel Duran. But I'll tell you, we're beating the odds on autos. Seven autographs. Count them. Seven. Brooks Robinson, legend. Sleeving? Yep. What's the best card you've pulled? Asks. Packs to the max. Depends. Depends on what you think. Jordan Walker. How many Jordan Walkers do you think I've pulled tonight? I There's more Jordan Walkers maybe than Shohei's. I'm great. I love that. Because Jordan Walker is going to have a serious season. Here's the difference between Jordan Walker and Riley Green. The players around him are much better on the Cardinals. Cardinals had a weird season last year. Really weird season. They should have done better. How much do you think Jordan Walker Chrome Refractor would go for? <clears throat> uh, maybe like raw 30 bucks, maybe. Maybe 20, 20, 30 bucks. I don't know. Oh, sweet. Black Julio. I think we got the red and the black Julio. And a chrome as well, or a refractor. We're, we're, and the box topper. If you want to double check though, Stan, what is my card worth.com? You can always check for sure and see what it's worth. Red Austin Riley. What is my card worth.com? If you really want to see what your card is worth quickly, like, like really quick and efficient, just whew, you don't got to deal with all the nonsense about checking eBay or 130 point. You just go to what is my card worth.com. Look at this. Oh, that was a good one. My card stand was stuck. Stuck to the lint roller. I'm just checking to see if my blade still got some sharpness to it. Random card. Still good. Tyler Stevenson. 
I don't recognize that one either. Either my short-term memory is piss poor or that's the first Tyler Stevenson I pulled. I don't really recognize Lou Gehrig either. I think that's a weird pack. An uncommon pack. I can make a break last four hours if I want. But only 500 people would hang around the whole time. <laughs> how many more boxes? If you can guess how many boxes, including this one. 20 points. By the way, Wong, am I right? What's up with these? Like, I'd almost prefer the fish get caught in the old ones rather than this recycled BS. You know what I'm saying? I know Wong gets it. Cubby gets it too. Okay, bonus points on the table. Including that one. One. I need more ice. Ugh, do I drink a warm one or do I get more ice? Ice will take 20 seconds. Got a lot of guesses coming in. The correct answer for the bonus points, including this box that already got the plastic ripped off of it, is six. You know, it's not every ripper that can make a... What? There we go. A blaster case last four hours. But man, you guys make it fun. It's really not me, it's you. If I didn't have the interaction. Like if I were just to make a video ripping this, boring. I'd make it fun. You guys were close. Who got it right? Did I say 20 bonus points? I can't remember what I said. Short-term memory's gone already. There's a Volpe. Someone was asking about a Volpe earlier. Is it time to get serious? Time for a good auto. It's probably way too loud. Volpies and walkers and vol and just, ah. one Corbin base. That's all I want. Not a Piazza. How about those sepias tonight? Have we gotten one sepia? One good sepia? I don't think so. Another Acuna triumvirate. I think we got a couple triumvirate Acunas.
I had to have missed an image variation, right? CJ was the first to say six. Doesn't matter. All people who guess six get bonus points. And the Red Cecil. Let's go. Let's go, Red Cecil. I'm going to soft sleeve you. Because you gave a lot to Detroit. Jeter Downs a bust? Nah. New to the hobby. Welcome, Connor. It's the place to be. Whatever is happening right now, I don't like it at all. Don't like it. It's okay. Riley Base. Chrome Vargas. Chromes are kind of tough. Have you guys noticed that? <clears throat> Here's the chromes and refractors. Not that many. A couple on the stage. But those are the tough uh, chrome parallels. Calling a beam team. What's up with the beam teams? Beam teams are supposed to come out of here at a much better rate than hobby. You want to know what? Here, let's share. Let's share some information. Check it out. Beam team right here. Boom. Look at the green. Where are they? This is a hobby right here. Hobby in the left, blaster in the middle, compact in the right, green. You know we're gonna get one, right? But who's it gonna be? Call it out right now in the chat. This is your chance to be right about something in your life. I'll acknowledge you. Who's it going to be? Do you want to know the checklist? I'll tell you really quick. I got it all pulled up right here. I'm ready to go. Beam team checklist is as follows. Pick your player and pick them right because we're going to get one. It's a 25 card checklist. Rather than tell them to you, here they are. All right, I'll tell them to you too. Jeter, Trout, Otani, Ichiro, Bryce, Judge, Tatis, Julio, Cal, Acuna, Soto, Vlad, Riley, Harris, Alvarez, Rutschman, two Alvarez's, Freeman, Alonzo, Yoshida, Carroll, Griffey, Pujols, Gunner, Beatty. Make your choice. Make it count. If you're wrong, minus 10 points. I'm going to add a wrinkle to it. You know what? I'm going to take this black Miguel Cabrera, Hall of Famer, one of the greatest to ever play the game. I'm going to soft sleeve him. Also the Julio. You know why I'm going to soft sleeve this Julio? You might not know why. But the real reason I'm going to soft sleeve this Julio is because of Wong. Because Wong thinks he's a, thinks he's a fraud. So I'm going to soft sleeve him. Yoshida. Kobe thinks it's going to be a Yoshida beam team. What a great guess. I think it might be. I see all the guesses, and I appreciate it. Tatis. See ya. If it's a Tatis beam team, KC wins. <laughs> Twenty points, and we'll have you tally up your points at the end on the honor system. Remember the honor system back in school? 
on our system. Yeah, that works. Mark Vientos, red. Don't know why I sleeved him, taking him out of the sleeve immediately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pads, if you're watching, still. I know. Not one base, Corbin or Gunner. Not one. I bet you if we counted the Astoria Ruizes, we'd be in the double digits. I like this, Morel Red, because like the good rookie parallels, they're tough. I do like that. I'm going to sleeve them. And I'm considering putting them on the stage, but I'm going to set them there for now. Unless there's like a, like an uprising in the chat. Like, okay, so I would put, we can have a conversation about it. I would put Morel on the stage if they were going to give him regular playing time this year, which they should, but he's going to be the utility guy again, allegedly. And so that means he's not going to get all the ABs he probably deserves. Peds is still here, good. <laughs> what do you think about that decision? Like, I mean, I'm gonna leave it on your doorstep. Uh. I'm gonna do it. Because Peds is still here. Wow, <laughs> bringing out the Sam Huff stats. I love it. God, I need a Sam Huff auto so bad. What's going on with this music? I kind of dig it. I feel like I'm in an Arabian... Like a good place. I feel like I'm in a good place where there's dancing ladies, you know. Zach Gallon. Red. Still over 500 here. Guys. We got it, and it's a black parallel Ichiro. Who guessed Ichiro? There were bonus points on the line. Nobody guessed the black parallel, though, did they? Black beam team to 25, Ichiro. Upgrade shop. Yeah. That is... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it's juicy. This is the juiciest. I just wanted a regular one. And they went above and beyond with the black parallel Ichiro to 25. Let's look at this. Sixth in MLB for singles. Seventh all-time AL hits leader. Third among outfielders with 10 fielding awards, AL batting champ in 20, 2001 and 2004, and MVP and rookie of the year in 2001. Yes. This is the best card. Maybe. I don't, I mean, what do you guys think? We got a competition right now of best card between the following cards. Beam Team Ichiro, Orange, Gorman, Refractor, Chrome to 99, 
Instavision. Parallel. No, not a parallel. Insert. Gunner. Those are the three options, I think. Handful of autographs, but all hype force. Let's go ahead and put him... I mean, Beatty, you're looking good, but you can go back there. Okay. Yes. You're close, Eric. I always think about putting Mitchell on the good card pile. Because I think he's good. Yeah. Yeah, beam team's the case hit, but you're supposed to get more beam teams. It's like better than a case hit out of blaster boxes. You should get... I think you should get like maybe two of them per blaster case either way we got a f we got a beam team finally maddox sepia is that the case hit we've gotten like i don't know 50 case hits we've gotten you're going to have to watch the recap Willie Mays is a triumvirate. Is that the same box? Or is that a new box? No, that's the same box. Black parallel beam, beam team and triumvirate. And there's going to be something else. Three packs left. Connor says, hey, card... <laughs> Connor Cardinal says, hey, Striker, since I'm new, do you know by chance what a Harris Auto to 25 and Cal Ripken Jr. Beam Team Auto to 75 would go for? I got them from four packs for 40 bucks. I can't find comps from brand new release. You're not going to be able to find comps. Give it a little bit. Soto, red. Music got real loud. Yeah, it's brand new, so it's going to be tough to find comps. But you could always just put them for buy it now at a nice high price with the best offer. See what happens. Bobby Bass. Virtuosos. Chrome Lindor. It's a good box. Some of these boxes are really loaded. Kind of reminds me of Bowman, like Bowman blaster boxes. How some of them are so loaded, and then you get like a desert, nothing. Nasty Nestor, black parallel. Four boxes left. Shohei. Jerry, uh, Jerry, it's probably because they're kind of skirting around the rules of copyright infringement. I don't think that they have. So, like, let's say, for example, I didn't have these as um, video, like VODs, video on demand. Like, so after this, you'll be able to watch this anytime, forever. They can go back and copyright strike your stuff. But if you play if you're playing it live, they can't really keep keep up with all that. So for Fanatics Live, it's probably because they don't have VODs. And then they're probably like dancing around that issue. If someone wanted to get really serious and report them, maybe it would be an issue. I don't know. Don't care. Mike Trout. I think that's at least the third one of that. Vaughn.
But I got to play by the rules here. <clears throat> One time I played a Metallica song. They don't take too kindly to that. Insta ban on every platform across the whole world. Yeah, they're, uh, they might not be out yet, Blake. You should find some at probably your local Target or Walmart. These aren't going to be super popular. Like, people aren't going to go out and, like, search these out and find them. It's not like Topps Chrome or anything like that. Another triumvirate. And it's the kid. And we're getting ever so close to the complete set. Yeah, Metallica sticklers. They sure are. They don't want you playing their music for other people. Still live, Clayton. We're getting close, though. Another Chrome. It's Buster Posey. What? Oh, okay. That's that's going in a lot in my eBay store. Both of those. Black Brennan Rogers. Josh Young. Haven't gotten a lot of those. Still have yet to get a base Corbin. Base Gunner. Come on. Don't, I don't even really care about it. Oh, we finally got a base beam team. And it's Judge. All right. Did anybody guess Judge? We'll put him behind Ichiro Black. Couple left. Couple of randos. Still loving the OG 2023 Bowman Blasters. Yeah, those are some of them are awesome. It's probably the best bang for your buck. Jimenez. I don't know if 2023 Bowman's gonna hold up though. Three boxes left. Guys, we're almost there. Home stretch. Last three boxes. We've had over 500 like most of the time. Jordan Walker again. Are we going to get something spectacular? I think we're going to get one more auto. Base judge. I haven't seen a lot of that. Virtuosos. Chrome Shea. Drew Jones. Yeah, he's got to play. Like, is Drew Jones ever going to play? The only reason he's super collectible, there's two reasons. There's two reasons Drew Jones was the guy to chase. One, he was super young. Two, the bloodline. So if he doesn't play, then we got nothing. Freddie Freeman red. Junior's in there. Kim Arrow. So he's like the saving grace of 23 Bowman. You guessed Judge, Elliot? Congratulations. You get points bonus points no gunner or corbin hank the tank although we did get that garrett mitchell a little i'm gonna i'm gonna sleeve him
and put him there. Terang, nah, we'll pass. Austin Riley, another triumvirate. I think that's the first Austin Riley, but I could be mistaken. We're getting so many triumvirates, it's ridiculous. Getting ready for the wrap-up show. We got two boxes left after this. One pack, two boxes. Manny Machado, red parallel. It's winding down. We're getting down to the nitty. The nitties. Ben Baller. Yeah, Ben. I, I love Ben Baller. They kind of... They chinsed out a little bit. They, they definitely chinsed out in 2021. There's that Ichiro we got, or not, uh, the Shohei we got. So many of. They kind of chinsed out 2021 Ben Baller. 22 is better. I don't know. About 23. Nolan Gorman. We're going to put Trey Turner over there in the insert, common insert pile where hopefully we can make a complete set by the, by the time it's all said and done. That'll play. Another good insert parallel, Michael Harris. We're going to work on the Rambo, mini Rambo. Go Lions. Let's go, Joe. One more dub. And then, oh, I almost can't even say it. The big game. The big game. It's, we can't look past the Niners. They're the best team. All we can hope for is for magic. Oh, we got another going yard. It is judge. Let's go. So many going yards. There's so many. I, I the lions in the Super Bowl. I can't even I can't even think about it. There's a block. Xander Chrome. Hi, Jason. Welcome. You're going to have to watch the whole thing on repeat. The DVR. It's been so awesome. Don Trail Red. Um, Baltimore says Mr. Nichols. What does that even mean? Why don't you get specific? Ben and Dendy. Last box. Do we get Clayton Claus involved? He happens to be sitting right here ready to go. He's always ready. That's the best part about Clayton Claus. Soaking in the good vibes. Niners are frauds. The only thing fraudulent about the Niners is their quarterback. Christian McCaffrey is the best running back in the league. Ayuk and Debo. I don't know if Debo, I don't know what this situation is with that, but Ayuk and Debo are excellent wide receivers. And Kittles is just freaking. I would say second, third best tight end. Maybe two or three, or four, by two or three. Just from a statistic standpoint. George Kittle is... Uh, do we have a... Like, uh, pro football reference... 
He's got a thousand yards this year. I don't know how to rank him. Top four for sure. Yeah, I know. That's why I was immediately thinking like Mark Andrews, but Kittle's. Either way. And their defense is awesome. If we win, it's a miracle. It's not like we're not good. It's just that they are the favorites by far. It's a seven and a half point spread. Okay. But let's go. Mookie. I don't know about, I don't know if Debo, I don't know if Debo, Debo is playing. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about that. I don't think anybody does. People are speculating a lot on it though. I don't. Kittle is the most complete tight end. There we go. Like that. Best sepia. In the last box, we get the best sepia. Jordan Walker got the black parallel and sepia. What's the special card going to be out of this box? He was clear today. Okay. It's one thing to be cleared to play. It's another to be at 100%. <clears throat> Debo at you know, I don't know, 90% still one of the best. Kyle Schwarber. We do not have a Schwarber yet, I don't think. We are so close to the complete set. 12 o'clock. Yeah. Would you send any of the Instavisions away to get graded? I'm considering it, yeah. <laughs> Red Freddy. Another show, eh? <laughs> Packers, yeah, no. Packers were... I I have not trusted the Packers the whole time. I've been against the, I've, I've been against them the whole time. I, I think they're frauds. They're wide receivers. I'm not... Listen, I'm not saying that... I just don't trust them. I don't trust Love. I don't trust Wicks. I don't trust Reed. I don't trust any of those guys. Terang, decent. I think they overachieved. But I'm not taking anything away from what they did. You can. They made it. They made the playoffs. They got a victory. Not taking anything away. They're our division rivals, so I have to be a little abrasive and salty towards them. The Packers have stomped on the Lions for so many years. I have a little bit of animosity. Yoshida Red. We're getting this is a good box for parallels. The very last box. I was kind of hoping like a lot more boxes would be like this. Another Jordan Walker. 50 of them. Hall of Famer Joe Maurer, red parallel. That's it. Let's look at the hits. <clears throat> I'm going to get all these, like, we got a couple of soft sleevers I'll pull out. <laughs> Sassel. <laughs> Who did I decide to soft sleeve? We'll pull those out. Wait, don't forget about Vientos. Me and Peds came to an agreement. We decided that we're going to put, I don't know if Peds did, but I decided. Okay, good. Good. Wait, soft sleeve. A couple of soft sleevers. 
We're going to look at them all right now. We're going to see what exactly a complete case of blaster boxes yields. Okay. We got chromes. Getting the chromes. I think we got it all. So let's take a look. I think you guys are going to be impressed. <laughs> the going yards are absurd. <laughs> so are the triumvirates. Was it the first box we got a photographer's proof and that was it? As far as like the super rare, hard to pulls. <clears throat> this is. <laughs> I'm trying to organize it just a little bit. Although, does it really matter? this red baby get over here dude okay uh. let's start out with the Shohei Otani I just decided to put the Shohei Otani's in their own pile and we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten Shohei Otani cards Zero Corbin Carrolls, zero Gunners. Red parallels of the easy to pull inserts Austin Riley, Acuna, Fancy Chief CFPs. Two virtuosos of velocity, red parallels, Judge and Buxton. How about the red triumvirates? Bryce, Mookie, don't worry about that, and Garrett Cole. So three of those. What about regular triumvirates? So many. Count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 triumvirates. These are one per hobby box. <clears throat> Going yard. Going yard. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen base going yards, which are one in sixty four packs, one in eight hobby boxes, two reds, Bryce and Freddie. Chromes. We got a bunch of chromes. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Got it in Adley there. Xander. Just chromes for days. Refractors. Hunter Brown. Peraza rookie. Julio refractor. Judge refractor. Vargas rookie chrome. Uh, Black. Terang. Cabrera. Julio. Outman. Sepia. Mitchell. Harris. Red Vientos, Red Blood Day, Red Julio. We got some notable cards here. Big times. Nolan Gorman, orange to 99. Babe Ruth, red. Stanton, gold.
gold minted beam team Ichiro to 25. Judge beam team. Insta visions. Look at this. Bryce, Trout, Riley, Gunner, Yoshida Red. We got Jordan Walker Sepia, Jordan Walker Black, Corbin Carroll Red, Riley Green. Two of them. Two Reds. Grissom Red. Moreno Red. We got a bunch of autographs. Boom, 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 boom. Black Beatty. Fisk. Photographer's Proof. 